What's up, guys? Welcome to The Plunge, your favorite Idaho pod... Riley just put on a medal. (laughs) Your favorite Idaho podcast, your fourth favorite host on the East Coast, and the best hockey podcast south of the border. Uh, Joining me as... No burps. Oh, you just go pissed. I don't care. We're keeping this in. That's good now. (laughs) Joining me, as always, is Riley T. Devious Dave. Say what's up, guys. Hey, man. Who the fuck is Devious Dave? (laughs) (laughs) I'm set in my ways. Joining us, as always, is Riley T. and Davey Wavy Splashy Gravy. He's better. He's better. (laughs) We love you, Davis. We're in a transitionary period. You got to deal with us, Dave, for a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. And special guest, Kyle. Hello. What B- team did you get? B He's team. B. B. B team B. Kyle. Always B. B team Kyle. What's up, guys? So I, uh, I th- you're the hunt. I am the hunt. Yeah, I'm and, your host. And uh, I threw you off on that intro. Thing. Yeah, I, I was, I started saying it, and I was like, "What the fuck is in his hand?" It's really shiny. It's very shiny. I ran a 5K. Can yeah. Do you, you read any it? books? You want to hear about it? <laughs> Not particularly. I got this medal. You want to? As okay. soon as Dave showed up, I was like, "I'm gonna wear this medal the whole time just to piss off Hunter." Because I was hey, like, "It won't hey, Dave, annoy him. It'll Dave, only annoy hey, him oh, this much." You, you meet any bitches on Tinder lately? No, actually, fun announcement. Cool. I mean, I'd rather talk about this oh. than Riley's five k. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I would love to hear about your five k, sir. Well, I ran. Okay, that's that it. A great country. Yep. <laughs> I ran, and then I stopped. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> did anything fun happen on it? Like, did you see anything funny happen? Because you were in Boston. So, I got I got this email. I'm thinking like, oh, it's a 5K. Like, it'll probably start at like 10. You know, right? Like about 10. No, I get an email. They're like, uh, so opening ceremonies start at. You gotta be in your seat by 6:50. How many people in were Boston? There? I have to be in my seat in Fenway Park at 6.50, which means yeah. I have to go find parking in Boston at 6 in the morning on a Saturday. Did you park at Sullivan Square Garden? I don't know where I parked. I parked I in some random... Pardon? Is it Sul- oh, it's just Sullivan Square Station. Ah, I figured it out. Jesus Christ. So, so wow. I drove down to Fenway Yeah. at 5 in the morning. Okay. Got parking. Got some coffee. Yeah, so I was not expecting to be up that early, so I was already at a disadvantage. I was not ready to roll. Yeah, I woke up at 8, and I saw your Snapchat to the group, and I was like, dude, this dude's already fucking running. That <laughs> <laughs> was this yesterday? What the hell is going on? Yeah, uh, it was yesterday. Yeah. It's Saturday, for those of you who are I didn't counting. wake up until, like, 11.30. I was already home. I was home. I, I went to Boston, ran a 5K, went through a bunch of ceremonies, and was home by the time you woke up. <laughs> that was the thing. is like, I got home, and in my mind, I'm like, wow, it's already, must be like 4, 4 p.m. No, it was like. 10.30. You have the whole day to yeah, do more Yeah, I had the whole entire day. It was sick. Run another 5K. If I could run to. another 5 No, my legs are hurting. One that starts at a more reasonable time. <laughs> it's 6.50 in the morning. So that was the thing. I originally signed up for the 9K, and then I didn't train. Respectfully. <laughs> yeah. You respectfully You talked about out. it a lot. Yeah, I didn't train. But I know I can wake up and generally run like two miles. And for this one... I assumed when I got close enough, I would see Fenway and that would get me through the last mile. That's exactly what happened. There you go. I was dying, but like I ran a good pace. Like I ran like an eight minute pace the first two miles. It's not bad, man. For it's a really smart idea for, for someone who hasn't ran in a while. Yeah. I did forget to hit stop on my running app though. So my <laughs> third, my fourth mile, like because it's just over three. Right. It was like eighty five minute pace. <laughs> <laughs> it messed up the whole thing. Like you inchwormed, oh, you laid flat and just propelled yourself with your knees. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, it was cool. I got this medal. There's Did a photo. You? Shake yeah. it. See if the mic can pick it up. Yeah, bling. There you go. That's going in the bin bin. <laughs> the medal? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, the race ends like in front of the green monster, and then they have lined up. You pretty much line up, and you take a photo across like home plate. I was like, free food? Yeah, they're, they okay. at the end they had water and bagels and fruit and stuff. The Did the first place winner get like a two game contract for the Sox? That'd be cool. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> be pretty fun. 
Um, you should get to sit on practice the bench. squad or something like that. Practice. Yeah, I can't <laughs> wait for this photo to come out though, because this is so right after a run, you're not that dead sweaty. Like it's like mm. six minutes <laughs> after yeah. when your body is still done all the yeah. work, and then it all. But comes you, but out. yeah, and that's where. So this is right around there. It's like five minutes in line, and then I cross it. I poured like some water on my head because it was like, it was a nice day, like eighty five all day. It's pretty good out. It was probably like ninety two. During the run <laughs> with the no, morning? with not a cloud in the sky, like on pure pavement. So it was hot, and then I poured water on me, and then it was like the cool down period where you sweat more. This photo is going to be hilarious. Dude, I literally sweat thinking about like getting in my car. <laughs> like, I So I'm the reverse. When I stop running is when I stop sweating. I glisten like a fucking Spartan warrior when I work out or run. Well, if you want to make someone else glisten... You should check out adamandeve.com. Uh, with your cum. Yeah, yeah. Cum, oil, sweat from working hard. Lady cum, which is actually just pee. <laughs> really? No. We'll, we'll go over it. Oh. Do, do the read. Squirt. I will educate. Do the yeah, read. Well, free stuff is awesome, but free stuff to spice up your bedroom is even, even better. Even better. It's even better. All right. Better. Select better almost one. any one item for 50% off, and then Adam and Eve loads on the free stuff. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> when you enter offer code PLUNGE at checkout, you get ten tantalizing free gifts. A sexy That's item. more than nine. Yep, a sexy item for him. A special sexy gift item for, for her, and a special you, gift. You broke it up. Both of you can enjoy. <laughs> Plus six free movies, spicy movies. I Whoa. may add. That's one less than seven. <laughs> <laughs> You're on fire today. <laughs> Plus hey, free shipping. Whoa, that is free. <laughs> <laughs> That's one less than paid. <laughs> That's one less than one. So that is offer code PLUNGE, P-L-U-N-G-E, at checkout on adamneve.com. Again, PLUNGE at checkout, 50% off, and 10 free items. Go check it out. Get your fuck on. Get that big black dildo. Yes, yeah, so, lady come. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to know. Let's go. It's P. How is it P? Like, they just... So, there are two holes in the vagina. Mm-hmm. You got the little one. You got the pussy hole. Yeah. And the pissy hole. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Never referred to as that, but... Okay. <laughs> All right. When... You excite a woman. Yeah. They don't nut from the pussy hole. They uh, nut from the pissy hole. The more you know. And when they squirt, yep. pissy that hole I did know. goes brazy. <laughs> brazy. <laughs> You're in timeout. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so that's squirt. Uh, I that's didn't so know that, is, yeah. just that is what I like to call. Mix it with urine. It's a little bit of cum and a okay. lot of bit of piss. A lot of bit of piss. This so, has been pussy hole talk. So if I, dr- if I drink hunt. it. Is that going to hydrate me? You're just drinking yeah. pee. <laughs> yeah, right. pee will hydrate you. Right, There's yeah. uric acid, which isn't good for you in it. But Do you I think mean, Bear Grylls only gets off by a girl squirting? And no, I bet it? she has to like bite the head off a cockroach and then have a snake come out of her ass, and he's like, you're yeah, ready. That right we'll is about to come. <laughs> you know what show I like better than Man vs. Wild? Survivor Man. Because the guy had to film all the shit himself. They just that was a, I, that was I, awesome I forgot show. that until you they, say, he just yeah. sets up different cameras. He'll like yeah. go walk two miles and then be like, got that shot. Come back two miles and then <laughs> backtrack. That dude is a fucking lunatic. I don't remember what his name. I'm gonna look it up real quick. But that guy's a certified fucking lunatic. Um, Dave, you're. What were you saying about Tinder? Are you off Tinder? I'm off day naps, man. Bump I Tinder. I'm off. Am also, I deleted all of them. Join the They're club, all brother. gone. Yeah. I got rid of all of them. Don't you feel a weight lifted off your chest? Les Stroud. Les Stroud <laughs> is his name. <laughs> <laughs> the Survivor Man, Les Stroud, is also off you think dating. He's apps. on a dating app. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should get him on the show. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's do it. Um, we do have the creator of Sharknados coming I'm on so the show fucking soon. Excited. Right, that's gonna be great. I'm he a- followed us, and naturally, I looked at his profile, and his profile has like a shark in a suit. <laughs> so I was like, I'm intrigued, and he has a Perfect. verified check. Yeah. So I went to his profile, followed him back, and I was like, hey, you want to come on the show? He's like, yep, send me an email. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, yes. yes, I would uh, like to do that, actually. So if you guys have any questions for the creator of Sharknados 1 through 6, let DM us- the hunt. Yes, and we'll I let him I won't check know. it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough about Tinder and all that, though. Yeah. I forgot to log out. Oh, shit. So my, you know, I did, too. My accounts are still yeah. active. I've just deleted them from my phone. All right. So basically what's going to happen is when our- You're ready to get the, back yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. Like two months from now when we're ready to go back, <laughs> you know, we'll be having like 20 new matches. Like, well, oh, the okay, thing is, is like, cool. 
I've been getting an email a day being like, you have a new match. And I'm just like, oh, still got it. <laughs> rookie, rookie mistake. Got to turn off that email. Man. <laughs> it's like, yep. turn off that email. Your boy's still making now you're, moves. You're still, uh, are you unhinged? Or were you unhinged before? Yeah. Because I got off that like a month after you told me about it because it just wasn't working for oh, me. Oh, see, I'm a, I'm a straight killer on hinge. See, I'm a straight killer on Bumble. But The current uh, lady situation that mm-hmm. I have is a hinge. Really? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. See hinge, you have to play right. I'm gonna give you. All, I'm gonna give you I all some. The, you I want the hinge, hinge rundown. Yeah, I'm not on it anymore, but I can give some. Yeah, yeah. I can give some tips. So hinge, hinge, hinge is all about finding the right thing to like. Right. Every girl sets up their profile in the same way. They have like two party photos. Yep. Two photos with the friends, two bikini photos, mm-hmm. and then a wholesome one. Yeah. Which you gotta right. do. It's like the wholesome. You one. gotta like the wholesome one. Yeah. It shows Always that my favorite. It shows that you're like if you're liking the bikini one, they're like, oh, guys are such pigs. Yeah, just wants to. But fuck. if you like the wholesome one, it's like a nice one of her like on a cliff, like she's traveling or something, and you're like, she's covering up the titties. Yeah, you're like that one. Yeah, she got like a dog or something like that, or and her her autistic little brother. And they're all. Hey, <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> and they're always. It's always just like you got to go after that one. Yeah. Or I find I go after you know the so on hinge so they have like quotes on hinge too. on hinge they have questions yeah. that you can specifically like. I tend if there's not a wholesome photo, <laughs> I tend to go after the questions to act like I'm, you know. Be See, that's what I did. But I, just, I wasn't Smart getting any uh, wasn't getting any hits. Really? Yeah. Well, I was getting hits, but like not what I was. To be fair, I was being very picky, like very picky. Okay. Yeah, because so like, you only get like eight a day, yeah. eight, eight swipes. Yeah, I was like, all right, this is going to be like the app where I actually settle down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was treating that. That's what I'm at right now. So. Yeah. i got to be honest, guys. What's I up? am on Hinge. Yeah. And it gave, I think it felt bad for me. It's like, we've Did it give you too. unlimited? Yeah, yeah, dude, I got yeah. unlimited too right here. I was like. So I got unlimited for like two months. Yeah. Went nuts. And then it, it dialed back and I was like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they get you. Yeah. That free trial. I yeah. mean, I st- I use it about as much as Tinder, which isn't much. Okay. But I remember I opened it up one day, and it's like, you've been upgraded to preferred member. I was like, oh, that's what? cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? I've been on your thing for like 13 minutes. I think I have a really good profile on there as well. Yeah, also, mine's, mine's you just need shit. to tell girls that you've been struck by lightning. I get a message a day asking, like, how, what did it feel like? See, I felt do the... like some guy blew his load all through my body. <laughs> Felt it in my goddamn well, fingertips. I was say, like, what's the difference in your profile from Hinge than all the other ones? Uh, like, what makes it? I think they're just more you're, spread you're out. More you're, active, you're more active. More like you tend to look. One. I'm one that the more you look at, you're like, okay. Like if you look at one, I'm ugly. <laughs> that, but if that you look at, I'm the one that you look at more, and you're like, it's like okay. Okay. Yeah. But if you look at one, you're like, Ugh. but if you look at a few, it's more okay. Pretty good. It's a different vibe. Yeah, I'm in the same boat, brother. So that's yeah. where I think that's where I think I more excel. Nice uh, girls look at me and they're like, yeah, <laughs> and they move on. <laughs> they look at more and they still go. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's the thing with Tinder. You have to have a basically it's your first picture and that's it. Mm-hmm. Like, let's be exactly. Real. It's so swipe, you, swipe, swipe, swipe. Yeah. Swipe. So you gotta have six pack, really good face, or just something like so fucking weird and interesting. Like, what the fuck? fuck is that and you just got you got to swipe right like on you and your alien after rating area 51 <laughs> yeah i can't wait also for, i can't wait for that for, for us with hinge that works is hinge typically isn't it's not a fuck app right it's more of a date yeah. app like girl currently talking to on her profile the thing i swiped on was her profile said ideal first date mini golf I responded, said, I'm very competitive about mini golf. Respect. We immediately went out and got and had a mini golf date. Did you kick her ass? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you crack an egg in her ass and fuck it till it was scrambled? I didn't. Mm. What? I've never heard of that. I'm going to keep that in the brain, though, because I do enjoy it. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm off. I enjoy a full egg English on a breakfast. Morning. So you so took a mini golf. And yeah. yeah. So, all right. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's how it should be, man. That's yeah. what Tinder was there for originally. And then it just, you know, human instinct kicked in and <laughs> just shoving dicks in vaginas. Do you ever hear Ds about Bs, this baby. study that happened where scientists gave monkeys coins, like, for food? Coins. Like, like they trained them that, like, if they gave them food. a coin, they would give them, like, a piece of fruit. Uh-huh. You oh, know the they f- were trying to create worth? Exactly. They yeah, were trying yeah, to, cr- like, like create situation. monetary value yeah. and, okay. like, 
uh, exchange. Yeah. yeah. You know what the first thing the monkeys did after S- they learned they that? They traded it for sex. Exactly. You're damn right. <laughs> You're damn right. <laughs> fantastic oh, and that's where we came that really from. shows you something yeah there's uh there's a lot of monkey left in us You're we're plenty, all fucking monkeys plenty of monkey left kyle <laughs> we're barely out of the water <laughs> this is the second time you've been on in a pretty short, short stint. Yeah, usually there's a lot of time in between but since do you Riley's think we evolved now, from monkeys i can come to the studio more what'd you say you think we evolved <laughs> from monkeys and uh yeah but like we probably evolved from something before that too. But I also think the monkeys and like other species like monkeys probably like found hallucinogenic drugs in the wild. You and know, that's how they slowly evolved and created new like neurotransmitters in the brain. I was reading the a now. theory that gorillas or not gorillas, but like monkeys, primates, that whole class of family, because like you know how they flip over shit to find bugs. Yeah. They found mushrooms. Too. Yeah, is that the same? <laughs> yeah. What's the? It's a from a book, right? Yeah, that's fucking yeah. awesome. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I don't know what book though. I can't think of the name. I can't remember the name either. But I'd have to Google it. That's a this sick fucking theory. This is why we need a producer on the Google station over there. So we're just shrooms monkeys. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much yeah. <laughs> okay, I get down with that. That's not. It's not like terrible. the 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 theory is like because they're flipping around and shit and found these hallucin or not. Yeah, I guess hallucinogenic mushrooms. Yeah. It elevated their plane of thinking and allowed them to evolve from monkeys into humans. So what you're saying the, is... The strongest hallucinogenic to... mushrooms grow in cow shit. Really? If you really want to yeah. grow good magic mushrooms, you need cow shit. Okay. All and right. it does that naturally, too. Like, that's how it was just found in the wild that way. Yeah. So if like we, They just crap it out. So and it just the more shrooms we do... <laughs> and then they assume that species like humans before us that aren't as quote unquote intelligent found it ate it and then slowly evolved and created new connections in the brain some monkeys really and... high they had <laughs> high moments yeah, and they're exactly. like what's like I... yeah. we talked <laughs> i opened up different channels for them and just slowly we should write I down picture stuff. Kyle just taking a mac- magic mushroom and just, just crushing it and then going, oh, yeah, it's big brain time. <laughs> oh, it's big brain time. <laughs> oh, I would love to. I'd do that on the show. Um, I would do it for you guys. Along with my Tinder emails. Yeah. I also, <laughs> I've been getting a text a day from Uber, but okay. it's in Spanish. <laughs> Is your account hacked? Unsubscribo. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, so the last time I used Uber was I was in like England. it was in Puerto Rico. You went to Puerto That's Rico. A weird place to use Uber. Wait, 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 wait. That Backtrack on the Uber store. When did you go to Puerto Rico? February. On your cruise? Yeah. Oh, before. Yeah. I forgot about we went you to went before your. Yeah, cruise? we went to Old San Juan. San oh, Juan well, I did. Bit. Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, you did. Yeah. So we that. Ubered around because yeah. we were just that we flew in there and we wanted to go out to the to the city because it's like it's a capital city ish. Yeah. And uh, I've never been on a cruise. Yeah, we Ubered a bunch around, and all my emails I haven't used it since. <laughs> it so my account, my now. account default is just Spanish right now. I think. <laughs> Let me see the last have email. To change I got those from settings. Uber. I, after you finish this up, I have something to ask you because I don't understand what this means. Okay, uh, Uber oh, eats. Yeah, I was confused about that too. Uber eats one hundred percent orgulo caribe. En el día más rico del año, disfruta 20% off in platos. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Just, just uh, respond with, primo. <laughs> so yeah, my Uber Spanish. That's, that's how I got there. But Moving on, in other words, the fuck does your Snapchat story yeah, mean? I was also confused by it that It reads, video. I have received an angry text message after putting the security camera on the ground to not be spied on. It's a big mic. <laughs> <laughs> I got a couple big mic things this week. <laughs> <laughs> Beefing with big mic. All right, let's get into it. Um, big mic on Amazon Prime Day. I think that was the 15th and 16th <laughs> of July. Prime oh. Day or Prime Days? Prime Days, yeah, on Amazon. He ordered some security cameras. I don't know why. We we don't live in a bad neighborhood. <laughs> he just wants to see yeah. shirtless Riley. That's the thing. So we put one on the back deck. And I went up there after the 5K to use the hot tub because my legs hurt. And I just look and there's a camera looking at me. <laughs> and I go up to it and it's really easy to just take it off. 
<laughs> like that's gonna get stolen if anyone ever wants yeah, to break like, into your house. Got it. It's literally almost like a GoPro on like on Velcro. It looked like, it was like, like three prongs that just clicked into it. Ju- it. it just it's almost yeah. You just like it just Pops pushes yeah. So I took it and I put it on the ground, <laughs> and then I left it there. And he texted me this morning like, "Go put my camera back." I was like, "Oh, he's checking." <laughs> be Why? even creepier if he did that while you were in the hot tub yeah right like, hey, he just check put it, it back <laughs> like every so often and it only shows in the moment or is he just like watching the whole feed i think he put it on our backyard for the dog pen but i don't know also he tried to get we they got a lake house this weekend for vacation and our cousin brought a giant trampoline duck inflatable yeah who, what cousin doesn't bring yeah it? exactly yeah, yeah. come on now. you know He's the cool cousin. Everybody's got cousin Neil. You know? <laughs> Real deal, Neil. Yep. And uh, Big Mike tried getting on it. Big Mike's not nimble. He's trying to ride a duck. Big and, Mike uh, is like a Tyrannosaurus Rex with full length arms. <laughs> Just an absolute <laughs> monster. But I was up there. So I went up to take senior photos for my little cousin. And then in the background, Big Mike starts climbing up onto this trampoline. And I look at my cousin, I was like, you're going to need to hold off a sec. I go, I get my, my good lens, like my close-up lens for my camera. Your yeah. telephoto lens? No, that's the really close-up one. And I got the best sequence of photos. That's just him. He loses his footing, falls down, and then just absolutely eat shit face first oh. into the water. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the best <laughs> sequence of photos Goes ahead ever. first. And Legs then I got one of the. the I, like, I zoomed in at the end too, and just got the moment he breached water. I know, like you did it frame by frame, but he looks like the type of person that falls in slow motion. Yeah, like in frame by frame. <laughs> yeah. no, that was actually a video. <laughs> so yeah, that was impeccable. Big Mike's a legend, man. I mean, this dude has so many stories. We'll get there. Too many. <laughs> I almost stole a duck this weekend. Yeah, t- my brother actually stole a duck like when I was Gavin? twelve. He's allowed no, to steal uh, ducks. Scuba. Never mind. Wait, you have a scuba. You have a brother named Scuba. Scuba that you've Steve. Never told His us name's about? Steven. We just always call him Scuba. You have a per- you have a friend and a brother in your life named Tuba and Scuba that are both just naturally called that. Yeah, that's I, I amazing. Guess I do. Yeah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> Tuba. He's a lot scuba. fit. He's a lot. Uh, do you have any fit. Jewish friends? You could call him Juba. Juba, I don't have any Jewish friends. Um, for those of you I'll who convert, are listening, don't worry. Uh, what are you, you are racist? Jewish, I would love to be your friend. So definitely hit me up at the hunt. <laughs> sure, yeah, look that up on Twitter. It's <laughs> gonna be like some hunted videos. Or just no, I uh, I went up to my apartment for school because I was yeah. moving a bunch of shit in, and I decided to stay the weekend. Mm-hmm. And uh, me and Sully, C Team Sully, went C-team Sully. <laughs> went fishing and. He was just fishing. I was yeah. sitting down enjoying a nice beverage. Yeah. And yeah, water, water. It was an energy drink. I just didn't want to be. It was like 6 p.m. too. I didn't need it. <laughs> but uh, no, these ducks like floated by us and they came real close and the mama duck was eyeing us down. And then Sully goes, yeah, I'm going to take one. I was like, Please don't. The mama duck is going to attack you. <laughs> so they just dived in the water and I recorded them. I'm a little mad at you. You didn't? What the fuck just happened? With- nope, we're going to talk <laughs> about bad. this now. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I think I had beer in did my your throat. Inside per- <laughs> did your inside... What? Did you eat a ghost? <laughs> what happened? Hey, guys, I'm back now. Uh, Do you a- have Voldemort inside of you? Did he just take control? I'm a little mad at you. I No, we're not done. <laughs> <laughs> I had a frog in my throat. He's growing up, man. Yeah. He's coming an adult. Happens, I remember everybody. when I went. That wasn't even a voice crack. That was a voice. Uh, I was just De- like. Your voice like diffused. deflated. Yeah. <laughs> it just had like a layer of cum in your throat. Yeah. I'm mad at you. You made a snap story mm-hmm. that said one screenshot and I steal one. Yeah, I you screenshot sent a message, that. Did you? No, yeah. I screenshotted it. I have the proof right here. Yeah, I got proof too. Yeah. I need to go to my story because and then I'm looking I called at it right you, now. I asked you like 10 minutes later. I was like, well, did you do it? And you're like, no, they drove away. They drove away. <laughs> they hopped in their fi- duck mobile and <laughs> drove away to be fair, down the river. I said drove away because I didn't know I didn't know how else to phrase it. Um, it doesn't show that people screenshotted it anymore. I fucking screenshot it. Look at this. One screenshot and I steal one. Yep. I Hold have on. the same picture. 
Yeah, look, it doesn't say that it's screenshot it. It you're, doesn't. You're right. Yeah, I'll give you okay. that. Okay, I'll give you that. I was, I was. I wonder how many people confused. screenshotted it. Like seven. Yeah, because <laughs> se- like seven people messaged me like, "Would you name them?" I was like, <laughs> "What the fuck are you talking about? No one screenshotted it." <laughs> the beer's out. All right, you're off the hook this time. I guess. I'm off the plunge. I quit. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, this my, is my two week notice. Two two rooms. Actually, this is my two week notice. I moved back to school in two weeks. Oh, there That's you go. Big sad. Uh, big happy. Someone We're gonna... else fill in for me for the year. No, so can you No, this isn't Riley. I think <laughs> We we raided Area Fifty One <laughs> early, and we're training our alien to sound my, like Riley. <laughs> my name's Pligbar, and I'm the host of the plunge. Don't fucking front. Your name is Doctor Mickleroy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't get. You don't know English mannerisms yet. <laughs> we're still working on it. See, <laughs> see, he's a Spanish. Muy bien. Yeah. Um, we uh, we do have a plan ready. We're going to get the TV up, and then we're just going to put your face on. That's incredible. It's going to be Oh, you. I can Skype in. Yeah, and then oh, we're yeah, going to have a, a webcam uh, probably underneath, so it looks like you're at the table oh, in oh. Davis's spot, and then we'll just have, like, sitting, sitting, sitting. So we'll do it like it. We're going to try to make it as much in studio as I'll possible. I'll probably have to sync. I'll, I can record my own audio. You, and you'll have to do too. your own audio if we're going to make it, like, all of ours, but... We'll make it work. We're going to we test around it. in the next week to make I'm it. I'm already getting a headache from this. <laughs> <laughs> from leaving? Yeah. Nah, it's good. I, I have to everything. fucking uproot my life and move back to Maine for years. four years. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> yeah, it sucks for you. It sucks for everyone involved. Are you excited at least a little bit? Yeah, this weekend was fun. There you go. I don't want to know anymore. I just that's that's what I wanted. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm not right. gonna tell you anymore. Fuck you. Yeah. Stay out of my personal life. <laughs> just, yeah. At least you're gonna live in the decent part of Maine. There's I live many. in a really nice part of. If you live in a hipster Maine, which yeah, is yeah, it's like up and coming. Yeah. I We're really, gonna have new I, concert hall. I really want to know what town, but it's Portland. I would love to. Yeah, it's, 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 no, it's, it's Westbrook. You live it's right outside next to, of Portland. I live right uh, next to South fine. Portland, like 15 yeah. minutes away. That's not bad. Oh, you're fucking yeah. You're. I thought you were still in like Central Maine. I was like, dude, that's a fucking He's dump. never in Central Maine. Well, no, it's like... He's in Coastal Maine. Central yeah, Maine is like, like Augusta. Central. That's yeah. like two hours north of me. From Biddeford? Yeah. It's not. It's like an hour and a half away. That's still... I know you're getting that, though. I know you're getting <laughs> 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 Hold on. I'm glad you uh, checked you know, off. Really I was about to be like, no, motherfucker, I, I live that. there. <laughs> I know you're getting that. Well, I'll man. accept defeat. I'll I'll move on. Well, I'll accept <laughs> it. We'll move on. You can fuck me in the ass later, all right? Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not. I'm going in dry tonight. Oh, uh, did you do every night? No spit this time. With Moby Huge, fifty <laughs> percent off, baby. I like weird, that we're bringing man. that back. Moby <laughs> Huge has been one of my favorite joke arcs. It's so good. <laughs> Bro, stop Don't shaking your head it. now. Don't fight it. Yeah, Just I don't accept even know it, where. man. Uh, We're yeah, talking I about Moby this, Huge, a three foot tall super dildo. I thought this week was going to be like a Take 40 your metal off. What do you mean? No. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you it would just be just the right yeah. amount of irk. <laughs> it's like <laughs> subtle flexing and it's pissing me off. <laughs> At least turn the, the thing the right way. Dude, he's more alpha than you. No, he's not. That's I don't know. This bit, what He ran a 5K. What'd you do that day? You got really I almost high took and a slept. duck. Yeah, yeah. No, I almost stole a duck. Yeah, when my brother stole a duck from the fair, he your, br- uh, your brother scuba. Yeah, brother scuba stole a duck from the fair. Put it ten in the, years. Put it in the backyard of downtown Manchester. Uh, that thing flew over the fence. By the way, got <laughs> hit by a car. <laughs> he saw the whole thing happen. Um, did he pretend it wasn't him? <laughs> <laughs> my I, man i know <laughs> that's what i would have done he turned around went right back inside I, was like, oh, I don't know this duck <laughs> oh, God. this is not the duck you are looking for <laughs> it's fucking oh, awesome. i brought this one from home <laughs> i love that guy yeah Incredible. rest in peace that duck king leonidas the third it's a good man wait what was his name Kim Leonidas the third. All eight minutes. <laughs> the he duck's had him. name was Cam Leonidas the third. Kim Kim Leonidas. Oh, he had that was the Cam. He had the duck for like three days, I think. That was a good like three days, you know. <laughs> Ducks du- are a lot of work though. The dogs tried to eat him, but you know. Shout out to my uh, bunny Doug. My dogs also tried to eat him. Yeah, rest in peace, Doug. He's a good man. He's not dead. He's just. <laughs> I don't have <laughs> oh, shit, shit. You know where he is. Yeah. What are his whereabouts, Doug the Bunny? Uh, my cousin Tom. Cousin Tom has Doug the Bunny? Yeah. Okay. He cool. 
He's nice. got a lot of bunnies. Have you seen him since? Uh-uh. No. <laughs> we don't hang out with Cousin Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Why was that? Why was that funny? Like, me and Dave are both <laughs> like... I'm fucking dying over here. Uh, I don't I have, know what was funny about that either, honestly. I have a new rule that might make me go really broke. Um, If I say the word like improperly... Oh, you're as a done. a filler word. Yeah. Like, a, if you were to use it in that exact context. Correct. But like, This is really just prep for my stand-up. Because I've noticed in, like... <laughs> <laughs> see... How many is it? A dollar? No, it's a quarter. Need to do a that. Quarter. That was accidental too. It's yeah. gonna be at least like four bucks an episode. Yeah. Do we have to do that, or is that just you? Um, a little bit of both. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'll throw oh no oh. no no! Just me. It's more. It's prep for stand up. Because I want to get rid of that <laughs> habit. I'll throw a nickel every time I say like, just like you do, like that. That was yeah. That was correct. a nickel. But yeah, like, how much correct, money a yeah. week do you think you're gonna spend? I don't know. That's why it, the week one might be bad. So it's starting now. <laughs> Damn. We're that's on the like clock. a lot of money that's going to go down. <laughs> Hunter, can you do your a lot of money impression? I get a lot of money. <laughs> like a lot of money. Like a lot of money. Like two handfuls of money. You can a lot ask, of money. You can ask like anyone. I've got money. the best money. My, bun- my money is better than anyone's. My, my bunny. My bunny is Doug the Bunny. He's better than anyone's bunny. You can ask any of my references. bunny in history of bunnies ever. There would never be a bunny better than Let's Doug the Bunny. Let's chain up all the Mexicans. Throw them into caves. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn Mexican bunnies. <laughs> the thing. I get this thing Mexican bunnies? Wait, do bunnies have nationalities? Yeah, aren't they uh, like jackrabbits? They have the horns coming out? Is this true? Is an antelope a bunny? Hold on. Back the fuck up. Yeah, let's what? look this up right now. Hold on. I'll look up Mexican bunnies and see what we get. I'm sure it's a thing. I hope it is. Wait, did you say cantaloupe is a what? No, no, no. I you, asked, what? is an Jackalope. antelope? Oh, a bunny antelope. Then. What's an antelope? An antelope is a deer, kind of, that has horns. Isn't it this thing? That's ugly. That's I have yeah, no idea what that it's is. It's a bunny with really big ears, and it looks like it could kick the shit out of me. Uh, impromptu, would you fuck it? Yeah. That thing. Yeah, <laughs> no. I, I would. I would uh, do it in, in the ear. An impromptu, impromptu, would you fuck it? That thing's ears. I also found another Mexican bunny. <laughs> it's a bunny with a uh, sombrero. Does it have a, a taco? Very long... Nope. That you're just fucking racist at this point, you <laughs> asshole. Stop stereotyping. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, that's enough. Okay, that's, a bu- that's enough. That's enough for Mexican Whoa. bunnies. Though. I thought this was going to be like a 45 minute episode. We are one topic in <laughs> our listed okay. topic. Right. It has been approximately 33 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, first on the docket. I just saw this earlier today. A cruise ship. Several people were arrested on a cruise ship this Friday morning, uh, leading several people injured and others confined to their cabins for the rest of the journey. Yeah. So you've been on a cruise ship. Yeah. Like what? Yeah, is this a normal? It? Yeah. Is this an, <laughs> well, <laughs> is this a normal thing? No. So in a series of messages on Twitter, he said the heavy amounts of alcohol contributed to violence that started on the 16th floor restaurant on Thursday when a passenger appeared dressed as a clown. Did you just say 16th? Yeah. Boats have 16 floors? That's yeah. bigger than most buildings. Yeah. That's yeah. wild. I, I did not know. I don't know get that. how they stay afloat. I don't. It makes no sense. Buoyancy is over my head. No, he <laughs> said that right. Buoyancy? Yeah. Buoyancy? Yeah, buoyancy. <laughs> Does he mean like how things Wait, are you float? bringing boys in the sea? Mean? I'm a little boy forever. <laughs> sea! This is a wild article. Uh, the upset one of the party booked the cruise because there was no fancy dress, and that led to confrontation. There was blood everywhere, this mm. person wrote. <laughs> Passengers used furniture and plates as weapons. <laughs> Witnesses told me they were so frightened they had to hide as family groups fought. Police told uh, ITV that three men and three women were assaulted during the fight and that there were a number of injuries, including cuts and bruises. I just Why thought... was this guy dressed as a clown? <laughs> Hold on. I'm trying to find that. On the... Have you guys ever heard of the game 50 Cent, Blood on the Sand? I have not. Yes. No. I know Riley has. It's a game that stars 50 Cent. Okay. And I don't know what the point is, but you kill people with 50 Cent and his that. buddy. I, there's sequel to the 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. Blood 50 on the, Cent blood, blood on the Water. <laughs> I hate you sometimes. All right, I found the Twitter. But I love you. I found the Twitter thread. 
The violence occurred on the final leg of a week-long cruise to Norway's fjords. Oh, it's a, that it's a nice place. O umlaut R D. No umlaut, but yes, correct all the way other way. Fjord. Yep. I became Fjord. aware of trouble when officers made an emergency tenoy at 2 a.m. for security staff to rush to the 16th floor restaurant. So these restaurants are pretty much just big dining halls that are 24 hours. So that makes sense. So they're That's floating colleges. Dope. Yeah. That's not bad. One pa- one witness, part of the group involved in the trouble, explained to staff that things kicked off when another passenger appeared dressed as a clown. This upset one of the party because they'd specifically booked a cruise with no fancy dress. Oh my! It led to a clown a- fancy dress. Oh, that makes no sense. <laughs> it led to a violent confrontation. Uh, the violence occurred 12, 12 hours later after a black tie evening. It followed an afternoon of patriotic partying on deck with large amounts of alcohol. The buffet area was immediately sealed off as medical teams went to help the injured. Jesus Christ. Uh, And I think two people got arrested. I just... I'm so confused about about the fancy dress clown part. Did the person who dressed up as the clown protest the black tie party? Is that what they mean? He's like, this is no fancy dress. No, like he he specifically didn't want any fancy dress on the cruise ship. And then when he found out that there was fancy dress on the the cruise ship, he was like, fuck that. Clown time, boy. (laughs) Like, that was the only thing that makes sense in my mind. Like, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I'm so confused by how a clown is fancy dress. Or is I he think pro- Hunter has it, I, to be yeah, right I here. Right. I have yeah. to be right. He would have to be protesting the fancy dress, so that's why he dressed up as a clown. I mean, unless f- and then everyone else clown garb him. is considered fancy dress, I don't know what to say. Yeah. He's actually part of the cruise line, and they sent entertainment. <laughs> But now yeah. the cruise line's trying to cover up for it. Like, and no, it was that wasn't big, us. <laughs> the cruise <laughs> no line set just up a, giant, a crazy massive assault. <laughs> I, cruise ship I have many questions. Yeah. Yeah. I got a lot of questions. <laughs> Why didn't he have the clown suit with him? That's a good thing. Like, yeah. It was just on well, a cruise. Have you like, seen the new Spider-Man, Kyle? Not yet. No. Oh, well, you got to pack your suit you everywhere you go. Suit. Well, yeah, Spider-Man. Like, if you're Spider-Man, you pack your Spider-Man suit. If you're a clown, clown. you pack your you clown, pack clown suit. Clown. You never know when you're going to need a clown. <laughs> <laughs> it's showtime. Yeah, just, boy. Just beat the shit out of this poor clown. and. <laughs> Well, it sounds like a bunch of people. Yeah, were. no, it sounded like like fourteen, at least fourteen people. A couple dozen people Just were beating the shit out of a clown. Of a clown. <laughs> Did you take the last chicken, Marsala? You <laughs> son of a bitch! She's got some fat fucking. Why guy was that your go-to food? <laughs> chicken Marsala. It's a so funny hear me out. Food. Hear me out. Yeah, you've been on a cruise. You can say this. Cruises are for white trash people. This is their I'm fancy mode. White trash people. Chicken marsala is their peak. This is the fanciest food they know. So, when someone no, eats... No, it's fajitas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm white trash. I know this. This motherfucker took all the peppers and onions. You want me to just eat chicken and beef? I don't eat just chicken and beef. I paid good money for this buffet. I was that spot on. That's a spot on <laughs> impression. That's not bad. That sounds like a southern person. Oh, man, we have some fruit. I didn't pay for fruit at 10 (laughs) a.m. I don't know much about the cruise life. Why is the water bed closed? (laughs) I haven't had fruit in so long. We should probably probably change that. I'll get you an apple next time I see you. Don't. I will will refuse to eat it. I will fucking force feed it to you. (laughs) I will bend you over and feed you that apple. I have concluded I'm probably going to get healthy once you leave because I won't have fast food often. And out of like, excuse t- the fuck well, out of me, oh, you oh, always oh, ask me to go to fast food, you piece of shit. I agree, but there's still you're still a variable in that. <laughs> what do you? I'm yeah, not. I'm I just not going don't to say no. I'm like, yeah, I can eat. Yeah, I'm not going to Taco Bell by myself on a Thursday night. But if you're around, I'll be like, hey. Crunch wraps. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that you said that, but you had your hand in like the shape of a phone, inferring <laughs> that you call me, even yeah. though I'm not at your house. Yeah. You hey, you want to get Taco yeah. Bell, dude? I'm in bed. Yeah. Taco Bell. Fuck it. Whatever. I'll come over. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And also, this happened almost twice today because I had just nothing going on. I was so bored. I I went to the gym this morning. I almost went twice because I was just like, well, I'm bored. 
So I've, I, I've been in that boat. Yeah, it's like I feel like that yeah. might just start happening because I'll have nothing going on. If my Xbox, if my Xbox friends aren't online, nothing to do. I've watched all I wanted to watch on Netflix. Yeah. They're not adding anything. Are you new. done? Are you yeah, done like, with Netflix? Like, I'm just rewatching stuff at this point. Like, there's nothing new for me there. You know what like, you should watch. Tell me, Chuck. No. Why? We've been over this. I don't like Zachary Levi. I don't want to watch Chuck. Okay, and fine. I, yeah. You know what else you should watch? Psych. Chuck. <laughs> So yeah, maybe that'll make me healthy. I'm um, just gonna start sending. I'm you, I'm gonna like, start wearing clown suits clip. on cruises, though. <laughs> what? Yeah, I, I'm con- I just confused myself. I'm gonna go to the poker table just dressed as a clown, and I'll make every like I'll t- I'll have a set. ah. You did it. Like I didn't even uh, notice. Uh, All right, that's a, that's a quarter. Uh, um, I'll go to the I'll go to the blackjack table and just if I have a 17, I'll start hitting just to ruin it for the whole table. Like what? You did. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about it before he even said it. And <laughs> next topic. <laughs> oh god. Oh, this is, I've be been fun. on like watch this entire time. <laughs> Have I been decent? No. No. Oh, besides those two? No. Oh. Man. We just caught those two very gotcha. clearly. Ah. Uh, a lot of music this week, huh? Like what? Yeah, lots of new music. <laughs> That's proper usage. That is. Yeah. You fucking I can bitch. use it oh. in sentence naturally. Okay. We need a new hunter rule. Oh. Like, oh, shit. What? Like he wants late. the same amount of restrictions on you. The hunt. Oh. We have to decide on a time first for me to be late. We do. We should, yeah, we should probably have a weekly, like, time. Set time? Mm-hmm. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd fuck the shit out oh, of you, Hunter. I am fucking winning right now. <laughs> Can't even argue. Uh, winning <laughs> high. Oh man! But Chance the Rapper dropped his new album. He did. Wildly underwhelming. <laughs> I see. I liked that it. Makes me sad. It Have was you listened? Not that no. good. What the? I didn't know he dropped it. I thought. Oh, okay. it wasn't out because I didn't see anything. No, he there. dropped his new album. Uh, Friday. Yeah. The big. I listen. So I listened to the first eight songs. How many are there? Uh sixteen. It's like way too long. Yeah, it it's twenty nineteen. Most like twelve. Art, yeah, eight Max to twelve. Twelve. Like eight to twelve. That's what's been going right now. Sixteen is too much. I, w- I drove an hour and I got through half of the album. Nope. Not okay. See, I, I kind of enjoy it though, because it's a whole different dynamic. Like you just sit down, like you know you're either working or something like that, you're just gonna put chance on. I feel like you've had a different experience with this. Maybe I need a full sit down, listen, it's, like interpret. It's definitely like him versus let's say like Rich Brian's new album, like it is a total Flames. different ball game. Yeah, Rich Brian, dude, that fucking kills. Awesome. I wasn't God expecting damn, anything big from Chance after his single "Groceries," <laughs> <laughs> because I'll, I like the song, but it's not good. Yeah, no, in no, any capacity. So that's the thing. There's another song similar to "Groceries" called "Hot Shower," and I think people just like that. It's not bad. I put some water on my grass to make he- it grow. <laughs> Like what the fuck? I've is listened that? to him since. He's an intellectual day? artist. Mm. Why are you making stupid it's, shit? It's so different than what he used to do. Why is he making stupid really shit like different. groceries it's and so hot different shower? Different than Ten Day and Acid Rap and and Coloring Book. It's very different. Yeah, he just like um, Acid Rap is probably one of my favorite. Oh, absolutely. Of all time. Yeah, but he dropped four songs in a little little pack. Yeah, two, two summers ago, and they Security. were awesome. Oh, they were great. Yeah. Security. So, like, what's what's happen? What's That's different? The way to do it. Like, what, what was that called anyway? Like, it was, did he, he ever name? They them were or? just random. They're yeah. just singles. Sixty fifth and Angleside. Walla, walla can, walla can, walla can. So I'm a little. I will give it another You're shot. Peeved. I've listened to the songs I like. So pretty much, I went through, and on first down, first listen through, I just download everything I enjoy. See, I'm even gonna use. I'm gonna use adjectives hmm? for even. When I wasn't it's even proper. paying attention. I'm gonna I was use adjectives to read something on the box instead of like. I'm gonna use enjoy now, <laughs> just to get my just cut the Smart word from my man. vocab entirely. Smart man, save some money. Yeah. Well, that's not money. Geico. Do qu- <laughs> quarters are <laughs> quarters are money. Fifty percent on car insurance when you switch to Geico. Sponsored by the way. <laughs> yeah, we're we're not. We're, uh, we're, we're but I've listened never. to the songs I enjoyed on yeah. my first listen through. Mm-hmm. They're good. There's yeah, no, not bad. Six, six or seven. Yeah, still something though. Shouldn't be that little with a sixteen-song album. I would say it's yeah from not, someone like him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's the thing. Like artists, I love. I download on the spot. 
yeah the entire album and then i'll backtrack he's, he's the kind of artist i would expect to put out like a 24 song double-sided album agree and every song would be amazing most likely bingo but it wasn't even close to that and that's what i was expecting so when was the last time bruno mars put out music <laughs> Um, he does a bunch of features. I was no, thinking, honestly, like, it was song, it was when I was in a relationship. Bangers, so honestly, like three hundred years ago. Oh, he put out uh, the twenty four karat magic. It album. was at the beginning. That whole album, yeah, played, that was a that great was album. It was at I the beginning he... of my last relationship, so like four years ago. That's wild. He needs to put out more music. Well, he's a he producer puts out fucking and, music. Yeah, he's a he, producer. The last album was music. entirely fucking music. Versace on the floor. That was that was, that was, that baby, was beautiful. Yeah. Baby yeah sorry music, if uh, anybody got pregnant during that five second <laughs> clip. But, uh, <laughs> uh, sorry, mom. But yeah, I what what? <laughs> Whoa! Who said that? <laughs> How's your mom? How's our okay, Cupid? <laughs> she's doing good. She's doing good. She's, she's off good. it. Oh, she got. She, nah. <laughs> she's cuffed. <laughs> she's going on dates. She's yeah. going on dates. Ma- uh, she must hearing, be on hand. I'm hearing stuff I shouldn't hear, but uh, she's going on dates. And Is the stuff you're not supposed to hear? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, it's actually Ah, Serenia. La la be la la bo. Um, oh, um, oh, <laughs> I saw the new Lion King, by the way. Yeah. Is it good? It's no, not bad. It? You're going to be our. <laughs> the Lion King guy? Is yeah. That what I'm yep. All right. Just tell me about it. <laughs> it was. Uh, so the first time I walked. All right. Granted, this was open at night. We went at like 10 p.m. Pa- Who? You went packed. to opening night Lion King? I did. Well, my friend is like a diehard. Like, Who is it? Shout that's, out shout out Black Taylor. That's even shout more out problematic. Black shout out Black Taylor. Who, who's he's, a diehard He's Lion got a King Lion King, King tattoo on his shoulder. <laughs> he better love Hamlet just as much as <laughs> Lion King. I'll ask Blue. him. I'll ask him that. But Wait, why? No, we went it's there. It's the same exact story. And, um, really? Yeah, it's like ripped off, man. I should have. I was supposed to read Hamlet, and I never did. Yeah, it's pretty much the same Do your thing. fucking work next time, all right? <laughs> it's, it's the Riley same hit story. me with a note. Uh, no. It wasn't on key, but. That's not the point. It's the Fuck principle. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, but no. Why are we so butting heads. I don't like this. All right. Yeah. Well, I, you I guys thought, usually bump other types. Yeah. Of I was about to you say. Know what I mean? yeah, you never said which head. I mean, I, you know what I mean. Woo! But uh, no, Lion King was good. Um, I was expecting a lot of primal animal sex. Um, was not. <laughs> Why? Kind of disappointed because it's Lion King. It's live action animated. I was surprised that the like they got the lions to do that shit. And do everything. It was no. You good, wanted though. to see Simba and like <laughs> Nuva Ring, whatever her name yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? Nyla. Nala. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Nuva Ring. <laughs> That's close. <laughs> I will say though, this is definitely a hot take. Uh, Donald Glover sucked ass as Simba. How do you suck Awful. ass voicing Simba? It was just bad. Like he just didn't fit the. Be Donald Glover. Right. Basically, he sounded like a depressed Simba. Like he's like, oh, my dad's dead. Oh. <laughs> so you wanted Matthew Broderick in the new another installment? Maybe not another installment, but just anything. I would have liked anything that. else <laughs> other than Donald Glover, man. I will say Scar's voice is fantastic. Mufasa's voice. I was wasn't naked. Scar James Earl Jones? Yeah, uh, no, that was Mufasa. Okay, that's the dad because gotcha. I didn't know who the fuck that was. <laughs> but dude, when I heard Darth Vader talk to, you, I was like, oh. <laughs> God damn, it was good. Darth Vader has about 13 minutes of being alive in The Lion King. <laughs> it's actually, so they they make him like... Do you think he had more screen time in Star Wars or The Lion King? He had great talking. Question. Star Wars. Well, he wasn't... He wasn't... I know, he but was, he okay. voiced. Yeah. He, he had more so screen much time ha- than the adult Simba in this movie. Because he had all the voices. Wait, yeah. what? No, I'm any, telling, any, Donald Glover had like seven minutes of talking, that's it. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, it mostly took place like when Simba was a baby and stuff like that. So no, not a lot of talking. Not a lot of talking. Well, when he was a baby, yeah. But okay. Then when he died, spoiler alert. Uh, what? Yeah. Mufasa died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know uh, what the fuck? Once that spoiler happened, alert. It was, it was like three fourths of the way into the movie, and you're like, all right, like, it's not terrible, but I would have, I wanted primal There's ball slapping something... sex. <laughs> I saw not a thi- what I would expect. I saw something on Twitter. <laughs> Where it was a thread of people disappointed. They wanted the hyper, like, realistic animals to look more animated. So someone went and photoshopped them to look more animated, and it just looked like the animated Lion King. I wanted to quote just it. 3D I animation. wanted to quote it and just say, that's just the Lion King. Like, <laughs> that's just the original movie. That's the point of no, this No, they one. wanted it happy medium, like Kingdom Hearts style. <laughs> it's a beautiful movie, though. Yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. I'll okay. Say, I'll say that. 
I heard that the genie isn't blue. <laughs> is this yeah. true? Has I, anyone seen Aladdin? Nope. No. Nope. No, I don't plan on either. I don't plan. I, on I wasn't a big fan of it when I was a kid. Someone told I think me if it they makes did it, sense. I think if they did it, they should have made it like big cloud, like mm. make it the cloud, cloud genie. You have yeah. CGI. You can make <laughs> him a cloud with a face. See, I'd like a more serious Aladdin. That'd be pretty dope. Like dark, maybe PG thirteen. But know a genie, saying. you're not gonna have a walking around. What genie. would you change? What would you make? Better? I don't know. Maybe have the princess like get. He is in the black heart or in like Aladdin. That. Who? Will, Will Smith. Smith. He's, He's not blue. Guess what? He's they also black in blue, real life. Like the Blue Man Group. No, that's, that's him it. in Aladdin. No, that can't be. No, it is. Blue. Blue. It no, is. isn't he blue? No, no he takes He's, human he's form. blue for a little bit, and that's it. Uh, that's big stupid. All right, let's get through these. Rich Brian, though, formerly known as Rich Fantastic. Chiga. Fantastic. Awesome oh, album. Asian. Fantastic Great album. album. Great album. I've been listening to... Uh, let me pull up that song real quick. I've been listening I've, to the whole album. Oh, the yeah. Whole, I've, been, yeah. I I've been listening to it on repeat. To it twice through yeah. at the gym I have two. Fantastic. But I love the whole thing. Slow Down Turbo. all of a sudden, that one's really I've been addicted to and that. Then, boom. The yeah. Out. It was really yeah. cool. Not what I was like, expecting. Yeah, it really yeah. caught me His last album was also fantastic. He's had some And the album, the collab album he did that was mostly him from 88 Rising. That's his Midsummer collab group that he runs. That, that whole album's really good too. Yeah, is that I the one people, with uh, like history and that yep. whole album? Yeah. So people, I think, are just sleeping on Rich Brian because he are. has the he's got the persona of he's young and he has the persona of Rich Chicken. I do think this new song though, because people are kind of disappointed with Chance and Rich Brian's Twitter is just going fucking crazy. Crazy. I mean, so this is going to put him on. There was a tweet <laughs> about all the rap music coming out this week because there's a bunch of new music coming out and yeah. they didn't mention him. Has Lil Nas s- gone away? No. No. No, he's not even he's, a little bit. He's fucking huge. He's just now. so good at social media that mm. it's gonna be a while. Yeah, big sad. Yeah, big. I'm happy. fine with it. He's hilarious. He's big game, big happy. I like it. He tweeted today. You retweeted it. That was fucking. It funny. was a tweet that was something, something along the lines of. I could pull it up for you. Yeah, um, but yeah, I don't mind Lil Nas X. I'm fine with Old Town Road now, but I'm good never hearing it again. Except Mason Ramsey's first slapped. Mason Ramsey. Yeah. I love that part. Single handedly will revive the genre. I have the tweet from Little uh Little Nos X. Quote unquote, Wow man, last year I was sleeping on my sister's floor, had no money, struggling to get plays on my music, suffering from daily headaches. Now I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. I get a good That's chuckle when I read that. <laughs> But yeah, good week for music. Uh, her, p- her put started out a new from song. The bottom, now I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> started, bo- started from the bottom, now I'm a whole team fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Like, it's just so good. He's great. He's good. He's funny. Yeah. He's just a funny dude. He, he knows. Like, his song is annoying as shit now because it's, it's been overplayed been, for about he probably hates six doing months. It. It's like it's the, a, it's the Chadwick Bosman thing of the Wakanda Forever. Yeah. Like everyone walks up to him, do the old town road, and he's like, Wakanda Forever. And they're like, that yeah. doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, Her put out a new song. Big Sean put out a new song. Is Big Sean fucking Ariana Grande again? I think so. Good for him. Good for him. Yeah. yeah. Right, right on, my yeah. man. This is how well, we stop on He has to have his. a huge dick, Rest according to like, the Matt timeline Matt. of her making songs about huge dick lines up perfectly with Big Isn't Sean. Isn't that the, the walking side to side song yeah, about yeah, yeah. Big Sean? Yeah, that song's about Big Sean. Have you, did you know that? The is that what they call him Big Sean? about riding big dick so hard and long big that you can't walk straight. Dick. So here's the thing. I'm not a, I, I don't know much got about- got me walking side to side. Side to side. I don't know much about uh, Ariana Grande. However- uh, the she lady. can shed her uterus in a moment's notice. <laughs> Jesus fucking <laughs> She's like a crab Christ. person. Yeah, okay. But her Ooh. shell is All her right. pussy lining. Next Get topic. Ready. Here we shred go. Shred your uterus. <laughs> She's there. She's done. Oh, my. That's gross. So, so tell this me about a, your Billie Eilish theory. Uh, this episode of The Plunge is brought to you by Official Clothing. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ! I hate that segue. We're horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Official clothing, apparently. Official clothing is a brand rooted in hip hop and based out of Tucson, Arizona, by the Homie Casual, a fellow member of the Inner Circle Podcast. Love Network, that dude. With brands that I, I lost my train of thought. That's okay. Keep going. Yeah, so got it's hip hop clothing. Yeah. It's cool With brands. It's it, a re- it's, some would say it's hip. It they redo hip. a lot Someone of. Would say it's hot. They redo a lot of logos. They make a lot of their own logos, and it's comfortable and but affordable. Yeah, it's very comfy. So, you own some? 
Of uh, course I do. I got a couple I t-shirts. Yeah. You want some? I actually Kyle. I don't have that shirt I with I me do, anymore. Yeah. I wore it up to Maine, so Smart. it was dirty, hey. and I left it in Maine. Yeah, but you're bringing the homie casual with you. Yeah, representing yeah, there's the no 207. Way. There's no way officials ever been in Maine. So no, there's there like go. four black people. Yeah, so yeah. you're you're starting. That means four sales could potentially happen. Yeah, that's money. <laughs> so <laughs> All right, use, use code plunge for. 25% off. That is plunge at checkout for 25% yep. off. All right. I have a theory on Billie Eilish. Eilish. William Eilish. Billie Billard. Eilish. She's Billard. a 17-year-old superstar. Amazing voice. Great talent. Very good voice. Yeah. Doesn't add up. Her brother wants to fuck her. Her mm, brother's dating someone who looks identical to her. I know. Did you know that? Yeah. That's why I Fucked said that. Up. Um, so if you've ever looked at her, she's got blue hair. She dresses all emo and shit. She wears baggy clothing. Is she thick or no? No, she's skinny as stew. My theory, if you ever look at her, her voice, like when she actually sings, that's 25 cents. Her voice when she sings is very sweet. That's if you go back. Her newer album is like, oh, so you're a bad guy. Like, she's edgy now. But can you, uh, can you do a voice uh, like just do that separately later and send that to me? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a ringtone Thank singing you. "Bad Guy." <laughs> bad she's like guy. edgy now. Uh, 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 okay, bad she's guy. very edgy, very bad suicidal guy. edgy. But beforehand, she had just open the pipes, like awesome voice. She still yeah. does in some songs. Yeah, so. She has a song called like Ocean Eyes. It's awesome. Great song. It doesn't add up. And I've so I have a theory now, and I went and did some research. I don't have facts for you, Kyle, that would point anyway facts. this being correct. But it's, I don't uh, think it's her. It's Randy Marsh. I, would, that's, I so, wouldn't doubt it. Though. So that's what I'm thinking. I, I think she's a front and someone else is doing the singing. Because even I, if I think so. she did a live, like you know how Spotify does like the Spotify sessions type things? Yeah. Or yeah. Sirius Radio brings people in to do live acoustic versions yeah it doesn't look right when she sings it's different but bear in mind there's a lot of auto-tune man have you heard of the industry plant theory that like Lil Nas X and and people like Billie Eilish these young artists were discovered by record labels yeah and they got them real young but what they did was instead of letting them grow as artists and create their own characters, yeah. they basically created the little Nas character. They created the Billie Eilish character. They created the baby goth character. And then they just grew from there and they basically wrote their music for So them. that's like real so life like whole movie set. script? Basically, yeah. That's fucked. She that's seems what like heard. she writes her own music. Which is possible. I've actually heard she, her and like her brother. Combination of her the and two. her brother are both kind of weird and it makes sense. It but all yeah. checks out for that. Maybe... But They're I don't. So my theory is, her. I don't think the voice in the singing is hers. That's what I think she's a, a character. Combo. Yeah, I think she's exactly. a character, and it is similar to Randy Marsh with uh, with uh, Lord. It's yeah, yeah, I'm combo. Lord. Yeah, I don't I think she's singing. Had the <laughs> I'm just gonna say this. I just want to move past it. I had the weirdest urge where I stopped listening to all of you, and in my mind, in perfect clarity, no other sound. Just I really want to masturbate right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So right. moving on. No, I do think Randy Marsh be like the equivalent of Lord and Randy. Lord, like someone goes, yeah, yeah, Wednesdays, yeah, and then you get all of Lord's music. Like they just auto tune it, and they're like, yeah. <laughs> well, it's like Millie Vanilli, and then like was it those two dudes in the '90s? They were like real popular, and then. They went up on stage to like yeah the Simon awards. and Garfunkel sir no I swear no, it, it, it <laughs> is really they really went up on stage and they like they mm-hmm. spoke with accents and people were like what like, the that the doesn't match that? the music and they, yeah. there was people singing yeah. for them they were just the face of it yeah so I feel like that's possible but she's cl- for them afterwards that they went on and just said like yeah no it's not us yeah but maybe they're, just but the they're maybe they're better at it now maybe like they, there's a ton of billiards so I'm putting it out there like, now William eyelashes are everywhere billiard eyelashes <laughs> billiards and eyelashes everywhere <laughs> I'm putting it down I think in a couple years this might come out and we can just quote him and be like yeah we uh we got it first see I don't think billy's like that however I could see a couple people Go on, Lady Gaga. Like, yeah, Lady Gaga. I feel is the uh, no, biggest. No, after she's too fucking weird. After Shallow, after she dropped Shallow. That's, yeah, she. I think she's just talented. That's, that's Katy Perry, is. talented. Yeah, she, annoying. She was a Christian singer, but she was another one that got picked up by a record label and then they just changed. What about she did. Kelly Pickler? She was American, American Idol. Idol. American Idol. Yeah. Uh, 
your like your references you gotta pick, yeah, out. You gotta pick <laughs> I wanna hear artists. Dave who Dave thinks, not you. I wanna hear who Dave thinks are. I can see honestly I can see Little Nos being I could see that. I don't. I can see that happening where they pump it artificially to get the listens yeah, and just exactly. like pay the radios, keep going and all that. Keep it up. He's been a memer and stuff. Like his character That's, checks out. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I'll give you. All right. Yeah. The, yeah. You're right there. His character definitely just because his Twitter is like. But what about like Frank Ocean? No, he's no, just talented. No, Frank Ocean, dude. He is. I'm trying to think of like he's people, daddy. But, like, mainstream That's the thing. Reading, I would like, put Frank Ocean. Like on Ariana this. Grande is a great singer. But I feel like a lot of her music and stuff is probably done for her. Yeah. I could see, yeah. Like, well, that, like besides like that, her, last like a Nickelodeon Disney. So Channel that's the thing. Person, is, she you know? started like that. Yeah, she, like, started, she, with like started, vo- she started with a fake. She started with a fake voice because yeah. everyone on that show they had the the mm-hmm. fake voices and songs written for them. I could see that continuing. Like, yeah, hey, you're really good possible. at this. Doesn't Miley Cyrus like? Wasn't there a theory about Miley Cyrus being like a clone or something like that? <laughs> no, that that's Black Mirror, <laughs> Dave. That Black, yeah. It's Black Mirror, man. I'll get there someday. Oh. Oh, today is not that day. <laughs> today is definitely not that day. Fucking Fortnite, dude. Yeah, I know. I've Bullshit, right? That, it pisses me off. Pure amazement. This is the first oh. time. Thirty there's, million for dollar years, tournament. For years, there's been the like the. Oh, you can't you can't stop what you're doing and play video games. You'll never make anything. T- today solidified that you can, and it's fucking yeah. bullshit. Yeah, a, bunch, dude, a bunch of 15-year-olds are walking away multi From all over the dude, world. CeCe's and I forget the name of the other kid, collectively they add up to 27 years old, and they won $7.9 million between the two of them. That's and they're on two change. different teams. Some 15-year-old today won $3 million for being good at Fortnite. This kid looks like he's in a sixth grade math class. He was kicking ass, too. He's a nerd ass, like 15 year old. He was kicking ass. Spoiler alert, though if they do find out he's not 13, he doesn't get any money. You have to be 13 to compete. Do you think they're all just like prescribed Adderall games? and Ritalin? And they're all just wicked hyped up. No, because uh, FaZe and stuff are all 30 and stuff, and they're competing in all this. The kid who won. They have to be 13. For what? To compete in anything, at least thirteen years yeah, old. Oh, at least. Oh, if you're yeah, under, least, if you're yeah. under, you exactly. Okay, there was okay, a bad, kid in the top ten who was thirteen. High guy. He was uh, twelve. <laughs> there was a kid, King. His name is King. They he did mad good in like. The, so you've been the, actually the, watching the, the water, championships just right? out of the pure amazement that these kids are 13, 14, and they're making millions of dollars playing a video game, but the thought process behind it is almost like chess masters like the way they play the game is yeah. beyond well, yeah, it's like I've call seen, outs tactical things i've seen screenshots of the circles very small where and there's normally, 43 oh, yeah. there's, people yeah. like it the is. moving circles yeah it's all like about after like, it gets who a small ground. ground yeah yeah it, they're, it, they'll get down to this very moving this very tiny moving circle in these tournaments and there's, you know, 40, 50 plus, all, but it's all about who has the high ground. Like this one kid won a game just by at the last second, got a little bit above the other one, making, you know, a little ramp out of wood and shot the kid. Like, but just because he had the smarts to know to get just up. Like, make that yeah, just make move, that yeah. one move. Just make that one little fucking move. fucking nuts. You know what? these kids are 14, 15, making these quick little yeah. decisions with their hands. It's, it's just weird. On top of that, like a big component in end game Fortnite is like controlling uh walls floors ceilings and all that so you can adjust them and stuff exactly right? because if the other team builds it first you can't edit it all that stuff so they are like strategically of just building placing out, them randomly like, no like as many mats as they can yeah. i say mats but like it, by that i mean like floor like i said floors yeah. ramps walls uh pyramids like they they're building as many things as they can so that they can strategically be in charge of that area, make it harder for people to keep going. That is like it's like warfare. High, on that's our yeah. cognitive thought yeah. and yeah. thinking. <laughs> that, like, that is unbelievable. That you would 13 see and that fourteen year olds are doing that. You would see that in the military. I mean, not like Fortnite, yeah. but obviously but like, like that kind of that, that kind of thinking exactly, process. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. It's or same. very high end business. You know, you're not going to get that out of some dude just working a that desk job. Predictions, communication, like all yeah. of that is. At such an elite level, it's it it is mind boggling that thirteen <laughs> exactly. and fourteen. It's weird to me that sad. these kids though are like they're the versions for us. It, it was you would go watch Ryan Sheckler was twelve in the X Games. Yeah, exactly. this is yeah. almost the X Games. Same thing. Because that's where you see the young talent. You see like Nigel Houston is eleven and we got real winning hype, X yeah. Games. You get Sean White 
is yeah, winning Sean, X Games. Those what were the what young happened athletes to him? that everyone He's still was like, around wow. winning still, gold medals and shit. Snowboarders, young he, snowboarders. Oh. It was the X Games was almost our version of this, where you see yeah. the young people are the. And now it's video. They're games. the cool ones. They now, don't. Yeah. Now it's video. It's games, weird as yeah. shit. You ever? It's, hear, it's I've played it, an excessive amount of video it's games. It's still cool. weird as shit to me. The, the yeah. thing I really like about it is the fact that 40 million kids from all around the world to my like my age to 13 like went for this and like they figured out who the top like 170 yeah. were and they're 13 14 years old and just because they have a computer a mouse and a keyboard they can make millions of dollars now which i think is really cool going back to when we were young like all those x games people do you guys ever remember hearing the name kevin pierce yes yeah he was Sean White's friend. He got mm-hmm. second impact syndrome, almost died because he got two concussions in yep. like 13 mm-hmm. hours of each other. Yeah. I met him. Really? Oh, yeah, he did a talk about concussions. Apparently, Sean White's a piece of shit. Yeah, that doesn't <laughs> yeah, shock me in the that. slightest. Yeah, I but I can see that. That kid grew up as a god at 12 years old because yeah. he was the best in two sports. Well, he for wasn't, years. but he like got that... a better sponsor, so he had more equipment to become better. Yeah. yeah. That's that's part of the game, it's man. Like, yeah, and then Kevin that's... Pierce got on that, and then he fucked himself. Up. You only see but... that with like Olympic athletes. They're like, tw- you know, gymnastic like athletes. They're like 12, 13 years old, and now it's like esports is kind of that. And you see girls too. There's even young girls in these tournaments, which that's is you know cool. kind of cool. Yeah. It's like you know, it's it's more diversity. It's just something new for the for video the games age. is for everybody. I love it. Yeah, I think it like promotes our our audience too. Like just kind of that community. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> That was a big, big we love talk about games. your we can't tell. We're just getting into it. Like, everyone's so, just going on. Now, I guess I, I did, pose I, a question for you guys. Yeah. Do you consider esports real sports? Yes, yes. because yes. of the results. Yeah. Because right. I consider chess a real sport. Like, yeah. Chess champion. Anything that champion. involves yeah, your mind or your physical yeah. body. To be fair, to the limit, that is a sport. I mean, I don't. It's always it's been not really the... your body, but it is your mind and yeah. my, well, mind or it body. It kind of is your body because with your just fingers, well, even mind. football, it's mind and body. But you know, people are like esports. You're more not moving around mind, right? yeah. more body than mind. Yeah, but I mean, like you got to think out plays, out maneuver your opponents and stuff like that. I so. think this weekend solidified that though. Yeah, Absolutely. Absolutely. it's always been the the League of Legends, the Storm. It's been on ESPN two and occasionally you know, gets yeah. on one. This weekend. Kids are winning. Mil- this is the equivalent to the U.S. Well, Open. Yeah. I think no, the difference down. between like Fortnite and League of Legends is the way that you play League of Legends is so radically different from like mainstream Fortnite that anybody on the planet could well, pick it's up a, and it's play. It's a comparison to baseball to tennis. Does one person sport well, or a team sport? Well, no, not even that. It's like there's so many moving parts, even for each individual characters and team builds. Yeah. As opposed yeah. to Fortnite, where you just pick it up and you play yeah. with your friends. Yeah, Fortnite's very cartoon. It's more accessible. It's, it's free. Yeah, it's yeah. more no name. Everyone it, knows Fortnite. Like yeah, in general, very... like it doesn't have to be competitive too. Like, yeah, exactly. I feel like games that have been under the microscope for such a long time, like Counter Strike, uh, Dota Two, League of Legends. I know there's one more that I can't think of, but like those, those are so. TF2. TF2. That's the way. Like, those are so built on, like, very specific There was roles. another cool... I watched... What was it? Friday? They had the creative finals. Mm-hmm. There was this game... Like, with Fortnite, you can do different game modes, too. Like, the creative teams create new game modes. One of them was really cool. There's two teams set up on towers, and then they're on top of an incinerator, and then all around are the other teams, and they, like... You can put yourself as, like, certain objects, and then sneak your way into the ins- it's just really cool there's a lot of different creative things you can do with Fortnite that's really accessible to like everyone our age yeah, yeah. millions of dollars man that is millions just of dollars what was it was it 30 million it was in 30 total prizes million oh, in total yeah. prizes Ooh, that's a lot that's like, a not, lot like of yesterday money. alone 9 million dollars was awarded yeah like, sure. or over 9 million dollars that was just the duos today it was where the single people won the fuck ton of money mm-hmm. Is that over? Yeah. Who ended up winning? This kid named like Buddha or something. Buga. Buga. Yeah. Buga. 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 He was <laughs> some kid named Buddha. <laughs> yeah, you know he, Buddha he won, a won. Victory you know. Royales. Yeah, you know any, top ten. Each any time. of the big names crazy. place yeah. anywhere? Like uh, I, no, I just Tifu know. got his ass kicked. Did he? Tifu was the only real big name out there, and he's Did all Clo- over Twitter because you know he got Cloaksy his ass kicked. Qualified. Who? Cloaksy. 
He's also phased, but I think he's it's leaving. Possi- yeah, it's possible. I just know Tifu got his ass kicked, and everyone was shitting on him for it. Because all um, these 13-year-old kids are crushing him, and he's like our age, even older. I made a clan. No, he's our age. He just turned 21 Is he really? Recently, no yeah. shit. I made a clan, and we played MLG for, I think, MW3. And we had a we our, our clan was the Toxic Clan. This was when I was in seventh grade. I didn't we didn't have the the health, uh, the sexual health lesson yet because that you get that in seventh grade. So I spent I like that in fifth. Uh, we had the general one in fifth where you oh. learn about the penis and the vagina. But in seventh grade, we learn about STDs and all that stuff. It was at the end of the year, the beginning of seventh grade. We created this clan and played MLG. My gamer tag, I was like Toxic, Toxic. Toxic shock sounds dope. <laughs> My gamer tag, and unknowingly, like that it meant anything for violated the like TOS. no no. My gamer tag was toxic shocks for like a year and a half. <laughs> That's fucking incredible. And then we got the lesson in the end the end of the year in seventh grade. And like, yeah, and, all right, and then toxic shock syndrome. And I was in a class with like three people who were like played with me in our team, and we all just looked at each other like. Yo, what? <laughs> I got a blood infection from shit. <laughs> that might be sepsis, but it's all the same thing. That's, that's my gaming story. <laughs> Dude, I, you know this. I had a long string of gamer tags that kept getting banned. You just kept getting banned gamer tags because you kept know, trying more amazing. edgy, weird shit. Yeah, I like I like Beluga Whale. Like Beluga Nips no. is your current. Beluga, oh, Beluga Teen Nips. is my current PSN <laughs> name. My original original gamer tag on Xbox was Godly Nip Squeeze, <laughs> and apparently that violated the uh, the I, terms. I wonder why Godly Nip Squeeze. What was the next one? I have no- ass obliteration. Yeah. <laughs> that was one ass obliteration. The one after that was anal rushage. Oh I God. only ever yeah, knew you bad. after your one that stuck. Because it was PG. Tweaky, tur- Tweaky Tortoise. No. Spiffy Ticklebug. Oh, sp- oh, yeah. Spiffy Ticklebug. That was, one of, that was so when we became friends. It was right thi- when you became well, the Spiffy Ticklebug. It wouldn't let me put in anymore. <laughs> it just made and one then for you. I tr- well, I tried using like the wheel thing. It's like, no, this is a band name. I was like, what the fuck? Did I get banned from Xbox Live? Do I have to make a whole new account? Did it one more time. And then I was like, all right, you're Tweaky Tortoise. Uh, no, it was it? I thought it was Tweaky Tortoise. I was never friends with you as Tweaky Tortoise. That's all I know. Okay. Then and that, was that might I, have been my original one before God okay. the Nip Squeeze. Then it it auto changed to Spiffy Tickle Bug, and then it's like your Spiffy Tickle Bug. Now I was like, uh, all right, excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend named Cam back probably in like sixth grade, and he got his name banned. I think six times. His original name was I Eat Babies. Mm. <laughs> they banned him after a couple months. Understandable. So when That's they ban name. you, they give you a free change. Yeah. yeah. So then because he, it's not really banning, it's just you changes, violate the yeah. newest terms of service right. on Xbox Live. So then he changes it to I eat large babies. <laughs> <laughs> Couple months go by, gets banned again. <laughs> then he just every few months, he just so he named it I XL babies. <laughs> <laughs> and then every few months he would keep getting banned and he would just add another X <laughs> to the size of his babies that he ate. <laughs> And after a while, he just never got banned. I, like I eat, like it was like it was like six X's L baby. So did he reach like the character limit for <laughs> game attack? That's amazing. And I'd be like, hey oh man, you're God. not showing up online. He's like, yeah, 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 new name. I X X X X L babies. <laughs> I think I'm gonna change my Steam name back to Godly Nip Squeeze because that was that was probably, see if they forgot. Yeah, well, it's a different uh, service, but oh, hey, you put whatever you want on there, dude. No one's going to ban you. Is your name still Jeb Bush? No. (laughs) That was way back in the day. I think it... No, it's Harvey Weinstein now. Oh, God. Yeah. really? Yeah. Harvey Weinstein 69? No, just Harvey Weinstein. I just got a picture of Harvey. You think the name Kevin Spacey goes against the terms of service? No. Speaking oh. to Kevin Spacey, charges are dropped. Is he uncanceled? Yeah. He's yeah. Well, I mean, he'll yeah. always be canceled. Yeah. He got but... greenlighted. <laughs> <laughs> got gaslit. That's the other day. TLC pitch of the week. Greenlighted. I actually have a TLC pitch of the week. Never we'll mind. <laughs> we will get to that. Save it for next month. Uh, Big Mouth has been renewed for three more seasons on Netflix. When is it? Is there an air date? No. But Nick Kroll came out and announced that they picked him I up for three more yeah. additional seasons. Now, he's the creator, right? He's the creator and does most the of voices. the voices. He does a it's him and J- of voices. Tim John Mulaney and they have one. Is it Gold? It's the Jewish guy. 
Uh, and Andrew Go- Goldberg. Yeah, he just Goldberg. he just writes. Yeah, that's Jewish. He's just their like writing friend, okay. but he got picked up. Andrew so. Goldberg he, might be he, the uh, most Jewish. That name is, of all time. that's pretty <laughs> Jewy, man. That's I don't know. <laughs> hey, there's uh, there's your friend Juba. <laughs> there we Andrew go. Gold, all right. Goldberg. I'll send him an email this week. Bet. But yeah, so that got picked up. I'm kind of curious because now it probably is going to go into them as teenagers, which should be. That'll be fun. interesting. So here's the thing: I watched the first season. I'm like, are you, you know, not a big mouth guy? Not a big mouth okay. guy. I'm a small mouth guy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, that's why your lips can't <laughs> fit around my mastodon-sized penis. But they I got f- Moby they, Huge. In yeah, my I was about pants. to say they fit around Moby Huge though. Just have to actually dislocate my jaw in order to get it going. Okay, I know no a new rule. Anytime, anytime I, Moby Huge say brother. something. <laughs> About just fucking, fucking each, each other. other yeah. yeah. <laughs> who who pays? Is that a split two fifty a piece? <laughs> like, you, you you down with that? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I consent. All right, there we go. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. <laughs> I take no credit for that one. No. How about five dollars for whoever initiates it? We split it if we make a joke back. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I consent to that as well. <laughs> Here it comes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, tell me something. Right, I don't we got know. a few more things. Um, there was a another an almost fire fest. Yeah, where they light a guy on fire and they no. They, so fire fest <laughs> signed me up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was in Boston this time. Our friend Tim was, was really? supposed to go. It was a festival called Mad Decent. Oh, that sounds shitty. And All right, I it guess had the best go karts or some shit. Or so what house. it was originally was it was like it was called Mad Decent Block Party or something along so those lines. It was lines. like Mad. It was wicked and long. It was so they had a bunch of artists. Billy Eyelash was there. I think Blink One Eighty Two was there. A bunch of artists and yeah. a few of them dropped. And then so what they promised was like go karts and the world's biggest inflatable park. That's what it was. And then the biggest inflatable they realized park. they didn't. Uh, People weren't signing up enough. So then, when big a couple big artists dropped, they sent tip to everybody, being, saying, "We'll give you a free ticket." So they give everyone an extra ticket to bring a friend or whatever. Right. And then it got canceled like two weeks beforehand. Jesus. Because they didn't have enough. Because they had all these additional things right. along from just the music acts. It just had, start off as a concert, make it a really good concert venue. Next year, be like, "Hey, by the way, we're gonna add some fucking inflatable ducks." So yeah. Ducks. With, big, with big Mike in there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, big Mike is gonna be a showpiece. Very <laughs> mad, decent next halftime show. You know, you know, on music festivals, it has like the list of like, like forty like, artists. Yeah, it has like the forty <laughs> artists. It's got like five, big Mike, five and <laughs> five in big letters, and then it's the rest. Just yeah, 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 big Mike, big Mike's like big Mike in the middle. <laughs> the headline. <laughs> oh, he's headline. He just keeps falling <laughs> off of it. He stands up, <laughs> and it's just it's just a Q and A. That's <laughs> awesome. Who man. has a question? It's just hand raised. Theory. <laughs> it's like it becomes a TED talk. But I was almost excited because Tim was telling me about this. Yeah. And I immediately I... thought, this is the next Firefest. This is going to go awful. I need it to happen. And then two days later, he told me it got canceled. Tim before. almost got scammed. I was really bummed. I Wait. was too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he almost bought tickets. I would have been fucking stoked if he bought tickets. He'd be like, oh, man. We usually we have more hypotheticals than stuff going on. I only have one hypothetical of weird thoughts I was thinking about. Can you drive to Florida without highways? Yeah, I would think so. My dad did Absolutely. it. Did he? Yep. Not a highway guy. He just wanted to save money on the tolls, and I was like, "What the that's fuck?" That's the is worst. That? I said, that "What the, the fuck does that?" Yeah, that's the reasoning. <laughs> yeah, no, I've that's ever heard. It's the least efficient uh, thing. I, <laughs> I had a good talk. I think he just wanted to enjoy because he was driving my stepdaughter. Yeah, because it down only took to, him fourteen days to yeah. get. To- <laughs> He no, wanted you, to you enjoy can, the yeah. family time. I think that was what, yeah. He was driving the stepdaughter down to, uh, like, hairdressing school. So how many months? Like mo- I, well, I was I thinking know. about this. Did so- you do that locally? <laughs> she, I don't, again, I don't know, man. I don't get involved. I <laughs> just, all right. Well, I wanted to think about She's this. She's a Florida cuck girl. <laughs> She's the Florida branch of the New York cuck boys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's got to add a ton of miles. You're splitting your time at least times three. I'd, because of oh, the speed, oh, because of the speed, if, uh, dude, I'd say like four or five. Because <laughs> well, I'm saying at, at a minimum, at okay. a minimum, mm. times like three, minimum. just by pure speeds. Yeah. Saying yeah. empty roads the entire way, yeah. both ways. Because you can max you can go is like thirty five forty. Yeah, 
as, oppo- oh. as opposed to 75 to 80, you're on cruise control the entire way down on 95. It's like Double. Yeah. I was just thinking Minimum about this. Double. Stu doesn't drive on highways. And I was yeah. just thinking about, what if Stu ever wanted to drive to Florida? We should get him a horse. <laughs> Stu would be happier on a horse. They don't go that fast. Hey, fun uh, fun fact. I was on Reddit. This is totally sidetracking, by the way. I'm sorry. But I was on Reddit, and I saw I was on uh, Nature's Wild or me- Nature's, Nature's Metal. Metal. Yeah. And uh, there was a video of this, like, mare, like, basically wanting to fuck this other horse. <laughs> And dude, that the nice. female horse was not having it. Kicked him right in the head. Horse died in like a minute, like right on the fucking grounds. It, it as soon as he got kicked in the head, it started shitting profusely, <laughs> and it's like in some oh, place in horrible. Mexico, so you don't know what's going on. And dude, the horse is just shaking, and then he stops after like ten seconds. Like, what the? F- Did he just die? What the fuck? Yeah, that's crazy <laughs> shit. That's crazy shit. Um, but yeah, that's my horse story for the weekend. Uh, tune in next time. <laughs> Tune in next week for uh, Horse Girls Part (laughs) 1. What's up, guys? My name is Hunter Horsehair, (laughs) and this is an equestrian (laughs) podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. What's um? What's the line that div- is it? The Mason Dixon line that divides the North from the South. Yeah. I think you're right. What's up, guys? We are the number one <laughs> equestrian podcast yes. north of the Mason Dixon line. <laughs> north of the Mason Dixon border. <laughs> that's a saying that's not used enough. <laughs> I don't say that enough at all. People are gonna hear that and be like, "What the fuck's the Mason Dixon line?" You have to Google it. They're like, "What the, the fuck?" Google I'm doing the Google searches of the Mason Dixon line are going to skyrocket podcast. this week. Bring it back. You're welcome. <laughs> They're like, "Wait, there was a line." Yeah, it's called West the Virgin- Bible Belt. People are looking at their like, "Why is West, the like West Virginia's in the North? It's Why the is it Bible in the South?" Bible Belt. All right, last topic before we get into some We're the set. number one religion podcast north of the Bible Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Hunter Holy Ghost. <laughs> this is- I'm Riley Prophet Stone, joined by Davy the Holy Father. <laughs> and Kyle Eucharist. <laughs> Holy shit. Welcome to the Crucifixion, a religion podcast. <laughs> Hey, so a uh, quick oh. poll for the other men are, that are in this room. Is this yeah. better or worse than the Cancel no. Podcast bit? <laughs> I sat, uh, when I was editing that, I just sat and stared. I, I cut it out to like, because I, I sent it to a couple cut people. cut out a few things. I sent it to a couple people. I was like, is this too far? <laughs> and I just <laughs> stood, I far. stood staring, probably... This what last week's doing? editing took me double as long as it normally does because I stood staring at that one. It was like a two minute clip, and I was like, "I'm keeping it." <laughs> <laughs> I, I can imagine you getting tired for it, like, "Fuck it, staying in." <laughs> I, need to, I need to breathe, man. It's fucking <laughs> Wednesday night at like ten fifteen. You're like, I need to go to bed. <laughs> Got work in the morning. No one answered me. Fuck it, staying <laughs> in. <laughs> People get to that and they're like. I didn't like that. That was fucking funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was <laughs> fucking funny. <laughs> Holy shit! That's my favorite moment from the podcast. <laughs> who it's is so who? Fucking bad. Uh, we're not. No, we're done. <laughs> 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 if they want to find out, they can listen to last week's. Oh shit! Uh, <laughs> uh, XXX. Kyle would just be Kyle Cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Here hey, we though. go. Here With we go. Hey, <laughs> my che- my cheeks hurt so bad, man. Oh man. XXX Tentacion is back in the news. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> is this hologram back? <laughs> it, was it cancer? Yeah, fuck. <laughs> shit. Did you guys hear he died? <laughs> oh, man. There goes, uh, there goes <laughs> the PG-13 rating. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right, man. We've had that explicit marking since episode one, baby. Oh, shit. <laughs> they know what they're getting into. <laughs> uh, in all honesty, though, I will stop making those jokes. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> all right, XXX. I'll, I'll, I'll throw money for the charity bin bin if you keep making those jokes. <laughs> He's back in the news. A comedian made a joke about him. I thought the joke. Have you heard it? I feel no, like I feel it. like I wish I heard it. It was it fucking Adam's joke about it being X tension. No, or that was awful. Jason's. It was a fucking hilarious joke. Who made the joke? Was it, it was this comedian? female comedian, yeah. and she was like, "So, X died, huh?" They were like, died uh, with $50,000 in his pocket going to buy a car. It's 
pretty good ad for Venmo. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. Yeah. And that was it. Oh, my <laughs> God. Incredible. And she's taking mad heat. So then the, I think the controversy is coming because another comedian quoted it was like, really, we're making jokes about dead people? And oh, now? come on. And now everyone in the oh, – now every comedian's on. like, yeah, you're not a comedian anymore. That's the point. Like, do we make jokes about things? Dude, the, you got to – Yeah, I thought it was a fire. Prevail. That's funny. It was a fire. Shit. Are all the comedians who made jokes about 9-11 not comedians? Exactly. They're canceled. Yeah, come on now. <laughs> everyone who's ever made a joke about 9-11 is canceled. Adam Simmons? Canceled. canceled. <laughs> Hannibal Burris? Canceled. canceled. Louis um, C.K.? He's, he's already me? canceled. Who's, yeah, canceled. Already already who's the guy from the league? Oh, uh, th- yeah, yeah. What's his name? Fuck the. He's the liar. definitely yeah, canceled. Yeah, he's definitely. Cause he lied about it. Yeah, it was a nine eleven. He was not. What? Kevin from the yeah. league. Stephen Reznaz. Uh, uh, oh shit! It's Stephen something. Stephen Reneziani. Or yeah, something like that. Yeah. He for the longest time, just he didn't even make jokes about. It. He just told people he was in nine eleven, <laughs> and then he wasn't. <laughs> so now he's like he's like blacklisted in Hollywood. How? Have you noticed in Big Mouth how everyone from the show The League is in it except him? Well, who the fuck cares? Uh, him, because he like genuine. He made like genuine like. He would make stories. He, that, like, yeah, he, he was, was like to say he was there. Yeah, like he was like in the fucking lobby when that shit went he wasn't, down. Like, how did people joke. find out? I don't know. Because <laughs> it came out they're like, hey man, you were here on nine yeah. <laughs> eleven. Fact check. Yeah, Go- you Google. know what? One of my it's, this is really fucked up. But tell me more. <laughs> Do you know what I find I like very intriguing? Like, as time goes on, there's more and more found footage of the 9-11 attacks. Okay. I I can't say this without sounding like a fucking domestic terrorist. You like watching them? Yeah, because I think it's... <laughs> dude, dude I I'm, I'm going to be straight with you. I study Homeland Security. Every time I write a big paper about anything like that, I'm like, all right, I got to at least watch a 30-minute video of just planes hitting towers and shit well, like, like that. There's, docu- there's mad documentaries out yeah. there for it. It, just, the it, puts you in the, like, it puts you in the mood to, like, all right. I'm to gonna, write, like, dark yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's it. so weird. Like, just the idea that in, in the technological age and information era that we're in right now, not all the footage from 9-11 has been found yet. That is and that is baffling to it was me 2001 that's why, so i, I find mean, it like, interesting for an innocent reason still fucked up event right. obviously yeah but, but like <laughs> glad you had to, <laughs> to make that yeah clear. i know <laughs> i can't i can't be that <laughs> we much do of an not awful support person. 9-11 no hunter marku does not support 9-11 oh well, i won't forget well, it as well, someone <laughs> who loves conspiracies if we did find more video what would that give us though like what? 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 What evidence is that going to? give? What I don't do you, think it's evidence. It's, just, it's, it's like, not. It, well, what I'm saying, it's what not even about that. Find? Like it's like, not about the the evidence standpoint. You just want all the video. Hunter's kind no, of. I have just you ever like seen, seeing it at I different angles. I was about to say, have you ever seen the video of Matt Barnes throwing the ball at Kobe's head and him yeah. not flinching, and then yeah. another angle came out, and they're like, "Oh, he didn't actually put it in his head." Hunter's trying to find that one. What happened? So Kobe Bryant is famous video of someone. I've seen that where it's a, like he's right at the debate. line and someone. There's another right an overhead an overhead Does he view go, came it out. Shows no, the he's just bit of movement. no. It's not even that. He's just not in front of the ball. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. like, like say he, you and me. Is he like he that goes distance? like yeah. yeah. It's like <laughs> yeah, over here like, and he's rocking as it's going too. So it doesn't like. It, it, I, I watched a documentary actually on Netflix real quick that goes over like how video evidence can be totally misconstrued. So even if we do find new nine eleven video, who knows if it's not tampered with? Yeah, knows, like. especially yeah with CGI and everything. Yeah, you well, know, who knows? I watched like, a documentary this morning on Sammy Sosa. Yeah, and yeah, you, turns out he was wasn't even black. On Twitter. At the end of it, they're like, "So Sammy, there's a there's a horse in the room. A horse? So that's supposed to be an elephant. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Is it a horse in the room? <laughs> I couldn't there's think of a word. horse. That in horse the room. is dead. <laughs> <laughs> horse has been kicked in the head. They're like, "What's up with your appearance?" He's like. He's like, it's just the photos. <laughs> oh my! It's what? just the photos. He's like, God. in those photos, they usually put makeup on me. The flash is on. Like, he's doing this interview and clearly white. And he's like, it's the photos. Is he? He's doing... like, he's like, I put lotion on my is face. Is white and face racist? He's not. I think he has Michael Jackson disease, but I don't. That's actually... not a thing. Well, well, no, yeah. you know what he said. No, what Michael Jackson said? disease is ble- skin bleaching. Billy, uh, do you know what? Do you know what Sammy Sosa said? He's like. He's like, I put this lotion on my face. He's like, you know what, though? Also, I don't get out in the sun like I used to. So it's more of just tan. He's like, and I get my face gets dirty when I play baseball. And I was like, excuse the fuck me? You're blaming you being black on, on, dirt, on dirt from a baseball field and being tan from 
the game you play exclusively at night. <laughs> No sense. What a fucking idiot. That it man's so crazy. Awesome. <laughs> they were like, so, Sammy, did you ever do PEDs? He's like, never tested positive. They're like, but did you do them? He's like, I never got caught. He's like, I never tested positive. They're like, but did you do them? Is what we're asking. He's like, this interview's over. <laughs> he's like, I never got and then the caught the documentary for like 30 minutes was just like, so Sammy Sosa left the interview and we went and talked to him. We had. You know, we just worked out the misunderstandings. He's like, I wasn't understanding what you were saying. I thought you were attacking me. They're like, so did you do him? He's like, I never got caught. <laughs> I never got caught. <laughs> They're like, what about the cork in your bat? He's like, that was a one-time thing. You That's asked awesome. about white face. Bob Dylan used to do white face. Is he black? No, Bob Dylan's a white dude who <laughs> played like racist? folk music back in like the 70s the and f- shit. fuck? I he can't went, believe you don't know who Bob Dylan is. Yeah, that's shocking. You don't Martin know who Bob Dylan is? You- you're Martin Scorsese did a documentary about him and like this. I'm getting feedback. We're good. It doesn't show up in editing. We're fine. Okay. Bet. Feedback. Yeah, we're good. It doesn't. And he he would go on stage with white face, like he would paint white all over his face. He was a white dude. <laughs> <laughs> all showed, right, let's get into segments. They, yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> <laughs> we're getting into we black face and nine eleven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're going down a hole. All right, I have a plunge picks. Uh, not a plunge picks. I have a TLC pitch of the month. It's just called "Put Your Country Where Your Mouth Is." Okay. So we take <laughs> right? we take I, an alternative name is my big green tractor. Mm. We're still workshopping it. Maybe yeah. you guys can help. Okay. It's a show where we take country artists and we actually test them on the countryish I stuff. I love that. What they do? The countryish stuff that yeah. they rap about. That would like, be huge. Like I stick my hay bale in my truck and I drink some beers and my lady looking lovely and I want to make her here. Like, like shit. Like we plop them down in the middle of a farm and be like, yeah. do it. it. Yeah. It's like Survivor but with country music. <laughs> <No. laughs> a reality show yeah, Jersey yeah, Shore yeah. style where they just all work on a ranch. Yep. So yeah, we take like be yep. fucking great. We can't take like the Tim McGraws. They have too much money. They would yeah. never do it. But we take some like C-list country artists. Do you think and Dan we and put Shay? them on a farm. They're big now. We put them on Original a farm. Original Dan and Shay. Yeah. We put them on a farm and we say, do it. <laughs> we put a tractor huge. in front of them. I think we put hay bales in front ratings. of them. We even stick American beer in front of them. Chug it. Do it. <laughs> They're like, I only drink vodka lemonades in my shows. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> I only d- drink That's the blood of the youth. <laughs> you write that down. Use that I gotta stay That's young. <laughs> I have been ma- watching mad stand-ups lately just to, like, study almost. Like, Yeah. Oh, I do that all the time. Yeah. Watch Bill Hicks. He's on Netflix, yeah. too. But a lot of people don't know about Bill Hicks. That dude is so politically incorrect, it's not even funny. Dude, that's my friend's name. That's my friend's dad's Bill name, Hicks. Bill Hicks. Yeah, yeah Bill that's Hicks weird. William Hicks. I wish he lived I was about to say, like, wait, I don't think my friend's He smoked uh, so many dad. cigarettes, he died by, like, 36, though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Okay. <laughs> all yeah, right. He smoked Whoa, so many woo. cigarettes. He's need ended. to find out the number because they take a day off your life. We could figure this out mathematically. He's the guy. I'll look it up. He's the guy who OD'd on weed. He's number one. He smoked a lot. <laughs> All right, we'll wrap the show up now with some plunge picks. Oh, God. Plunge it up, motherfucker. Plunge picks, as always, is brought to you by Podcoin. Ding, ding, ding. That's the podcast listening app that pays you for your minutes spent listening to our dumb asses. My minutes? You, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? You weren't expecting that, nope. were you? <laughs> nope, but uh, the minutes belong to the collective. Us. You. Everyone. Podcoin. You can download it on all your uh, like on every app store. Why listen to it on any other streaming service when you can get paid to do it? Yeah. Doesn't make any fucking sense. None. It Doesn't. does make sense though. <laughs> so Podcoin gives you for every ten minutes they give you a Podcoin. If you use code Plunge when creating your account, you'll get three hundred free coins. That's like a lot of time. Oh, uh, Hunt, Hunter Q it. I get a load of time. <laughs> So get those coins now. Make up a lot of time. Do it. You got a lot of time. How many t- how many coins a day could you make if you listen nonstop? Uh, On days where I listen to a lot, I make like sixty probably. If yeah. I listen to the, I usually listen to bonus shows typically on Podcoin. So we're a bonus show. We're gonna get you one and a half coins for every ten minutes you listen. Yeah, boy. As well as the rest of the Inner Circle Podcast Network, and then a bunch of other shows. They have a display of all the bonus shows for the week. So if you want to check out some new shows, it's a great way to start. Almost a lot of the bonus shows you'll find are indie podcasts. So it's a good way to support different growing indie podcasts Woo! and learn new, just new shows, new people, see if different topics. But they also have every other show that you could think of. Nah, just listen to us and the Inner Circle Boys. 
That too. They're the only good shows <laughs> on there. They're the only good shows on any podcast streaming service, even Apple. Yeah, even Apple. Even Apple. Joe Rogan, we're coming for you. Yeah, we're coming for that ass. Uh, to yeah, be fair, he has a nice ass. We're coming for that ass. Tonight, America's ass. Tonight, we are going to cross ten thousand downloads this month. Woo! Yahoo! We're very close. That's, that's, really that's close. like one more than nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Do you know how many we got in year one? Nine. That. That many. <laughs> ten thousand in year one. We got that and in we a did month it. Now. And we did it in a month. Well, uh, let's keep going. And we're also going to hit thirty thousand in. Like the next. How day. many listens is too many? None. How many None. listens to get to the center None. of a Tootsie Pop? Uh, seven point seven billion we per do episode. Do that during the whole podcast. We just lick a lollipop. Next, and next see live stream, we'll put a pin in that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but get Podcoin today. Uh, find all your favorite shows. Listen to it. Get paid to listen. Dave, you got your coffee. You are damn right, I did. I I, I, I donate to charity. Yeah, no, I'm a coffee guy. Yeah, so. Yeah. You get uh, use those points to get rewards. Get the Podcoin app. It's on i. It's on Apple. Uh, it's on. What's that other thing? Android. <laughs> and that, it's probably that, on other stuff too. If you're on an Android, we don't want you. <laughs> we, want you. we want you. We, we want, love you. We, yeah. So get Podcoin today. Two thirds wants you. I, I've had a hard time explaining what the plunge picks is to you guys. I'm just gonna call it the plunge picks of untraditional mether- measurement. Metherment. 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 I uh, love meth. Unusual Mike Tyson measurement units. Hey, do you guys have a methering tape? <laughs> Methamenth. I love Mike All right, Tyson. So the plunge picks of unusual measurement units. Methamenth. You want me to start? You Go can. We don't have a producer. I'll start this I week. I could also start. Do you want to, I have right, a good one. You start. You can start. Are you going after me because it's clockwise? Yeah, yeah, we're going clockwise. So okay. Hunter, it goes Hunter, Riley, Dave, Kyle, Kyle, Dave, Riley, Hunter. So because like... Sometimes you don't want to have. Should we clarify a little what we're talking about? I think they'll pick it up from this <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, All right, valid. So, All right. Like you know how you you have like different nightstand type things. You don't always want them pushed right up against to the wall because you might have like cords going yeah, behind yeah, yeah. it. Uh, yeah, you a, don't want to smush and break exactly. the cords. How many foreskins away from the wall do you want your nightstand? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! All right. This is okay. pick one. Foreskin, this... what? Like a quarter inch? I'm going to take like six. <laughs> six foreskins. Yeah. Gives you room to plug. So it's all, I find with that, it's all about getting your hand in there. You got to be or able to get you the press, hand in. If you have something big that's like a big brick charger, exactly. you can push it and it keep it retains that gap yeah, yeah, but yeah. holds that brick up. Yeah, yeah that's like what I'm talking about. Like You got to be able to get your hand in to stick wall? something in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm going to take beers deep. Ooh. That's a good one. <laughs> oh, that's I just good. I just thought of that as that's... I picked my beer up, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Like I have a bunch in my phone. I was like, "It's like it's not a unit of measurement." You're not like, "Yeah, I drank uh, f- 144 fluid ounces of beer." Yeah, like, yeah, I'm six beers deep tonight, bros. <laughs> that's a good one. Beers that's deep. A, yeah, yeah beers deep. deep. Beers deep. My fantasy team name might be Beers Deep. I like that. <laughs> I just like the way that rolls off the tongue. Thank you, Kyle. Beers, beers deep, deep and Tuba's sad life. Who said that? All right, I'm gonna I, I made a bad joke to Tuba the other day about his his <laughs> the uh, thing we his, can't talk no, about. No, his gone dog. <gasps> oh, uh, Bailey's new Why'd owner might make that? a return for the draft. I've had so many jokes about that. I've, I've, I've held back so <laughs> many times. Feed him to me. I'll, I'll Long story short, I Tuba had a dog back. for a week and a half. We told him he wasn't responsible enough to take care of a dog. He couldn't give away his dog away. <laughs> Dave, you're up. All right, following that. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna put this disclaimer out here. I'm, I gonna, do, be, I'm gonna be terrible at this week. <laughs> I already. I'll put the five dollars in. Can we talk about? I won last week. Oh, Did I forgot to mention. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me pull that up. Did you? You actually? beat me by One a vote. vote. I know. No shit. It was thirty-nine percent to thirty-eight percent. Pissing me off because you made a joke team too. I know. And I think I. I think I might have done it to myself too because I played around with the stuff you said a little bit so it looked more natural. Because like. You said some stupid shit and like. What do you mean? <laughs> I said water, seltzer water, uh, you said some stupid stuff. tonic well, water. But yeah, I shortened them to make them look more like. Yeah, that's a reasonable pick. To then what you like for stuff you actually. What do you said. mean? Because like for like still, you said like for one, you said like still alcoholic drinking water. That's a thing. You <laughs> yeah, dipshit. Yeah, I put alcohol. I put like spiked, spiked water. I put spiked water. That's pretty you. much what it's called. Yeah. So I shortened them. I think it might have helped you. I don't think so. I forgot to pull it up. I think. Who who was on last week? Because I think Taylor. It wasn't Taylor. It was whoever else was on. Uh, oh no, it was two weeks ago. Ooh, we were recording. Ooh. Wait, Kyle, you're on two weeks in a row. No, he wasn't Taylor. No, was on there last was a week, week in between. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So but the punch picks. 
The plunge oh, picks the beverage is, one? Hey, Kyle, you owe us five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I lost? You yeah. lost. Your team, People suck. They your don't team, like monsters. Your team, so I had 36% of the vote. Hunter had 38% of the vote. Oh, Davis had 15% of the vote. This is for the plunge picks of drinks. Because we're uh we we don't put the poll out until Mondays, mm -hmm. so we don't have last week's results. We'll always be giving away two weeks' suck. results. Yeah, we got the five bucks. Fucking yeah. awesome. Davis had fifteen percent and Kyle had eleven percent. For charity, right? We had our biggest yeah. voting ever, though. On this, how last many do week. we have? We had uh forty votes. How much is? It was a good talk. Thirty-eight like percent of forty. Davis was an underrated team, huh? I My like team, team was the greatest of all time. Yours was and stupid. It what fuck... are you talking about? All right, what was that loser? Right, let's, 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 let's... What was that loser? <laughs> what was that hey, last you got place? A fresh Abe Lincoln right here. <laughs> <laughs> no more. Uh, all right, so Hunter, good job on the win. It's now. I got to go through to make sure we have. I'm on. I want to put a scoreboard up. I'm gonna add some stuff to the studio studio soon. Some different of our like photoshops and photo shoots and stuff for just frame pics. Are we gonna but, put the hockey podcast photo somewhere? Yeah, I'm gonna frame that and put it somewhere. But then yeah. we're gonna have a we're gonna have a count of who's won how many plunge picks, and then we should probably have like who's lost too. Right. The loser. Do you board want my uh, Do you want my nudes loss. in there too? Yeah, we'll put your nudes up. On okay, the cool, cool. Well, you were talking earlier that you want to get a fat head of just your <laughs> naked body. Oh, I would love to put it. Please if, do. So right that. now the podcast does funny. the do studio it. doesn't have a door, but if it does, I would love to put that on the back of the door. Yeah, you should we do, do like the statue of David and have yeah. like a yeah. shell over oh. it. Yes. <laughs> but just if have have, to, have Moby huge. <laughs> <laughs> up against your leg. All right, Dave, you you're up. Punch OG, you should get an OG white bone prosthetic dick. We're going to talk about that later. <laughs> OG mud bone. OG milk bone is the white version. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I don't my know. My apologies. Well, maybe I have a mud bone. You said know. white bone. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Well, you did say you had a yeah. black Okay, thing, let's get these yeah. punch picks. We're over time. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to put this out here. I already accept the loss this week. I'm going to toss the $5 <laughs> in after this episode. I First unit of measurement, I'm going to go is the phone charger cord. How long oh, that's could you go one. with that? I, I like think that. that's a, that's three a, feet. Yeah, <laughs> three to six feet. But <laughs> but there's yard, some stick. Chinese ones that are like four and a half feet. Okay, know, valid, so, valid. Uh, so it's like some leg. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I got. All right, Kyle, you're up for I, two. I got one. Well, you need off two. The top. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. I one. We could we could go, we could go roundabout drafting right, tonight. First one. Do you want to do roundabout drafting yeah. tonight? Right. We'll go back to Hunter. My, my yeah, this one is, a difficult is one. Okay. myself. Like that's ten of me. <laughs> <laughs> that's ten of me. Like, yes. Yeah yeah, like, yeah. 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 You see like, like a you see a like a building. You're like exactly. I'm like eight of those. Exactly. I think exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's me. Yes. Exactly. It's fucking funny. Okay. I don't know if it's Irish or not, but uh, the stone. Oh, that is that's a good one. 14 and a half pounds. But is if that you weigh like less stone? than a stone, they can't weigh you. <laughs> Isn't that's that a... how British people weigh themselves? No, I, I want to say it's stone. Irish. Oh, okay. I it yeah, was, yeah, I think you're right. Maybe. I think it's just the entire UK. It might be the. I just know they nope. weigh themselves by stone. <laughs> I was the stone say, or I was stone say the UK weight uses pounds, and I was like, nope, that's incorrect <laughs> for that unit. So, <laughs> the stone or stone weight is an English and imperial unit of weight, now equal to fourteen pounds. So oh, okay. good on you. Okay, you go. All right, that's I'm gonna cool. take songs. What? Oh, I'm gonna take songs. Song like, hey, how long yeah. were you away? It's like, oh, like four songs. <laughs> Is like oh, is like I oh know. I'm away for like if I'm in a car like if I'm taking like a 15 minute car ride I'll queue up five songs because I know that's approximately 15 minutes. Can I do a specific song? Is it American Pie? No. <laughs> okay then <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave, I'm gonna I'm up. gonna hit you with the uh, similar to songs uh, stand up specials. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, so. Maybe we could short it down like jokes, I guess. Like, oh, that was like three Louis C.K. jokes. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> God rest his soul. He's not dead. He's canceled, he's though. He's dead now. <laughs> his career's dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kyle, you're back up. I'm going to go off the song one because it's fresh in my head. I've always heard people say, like, Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> That's like five Stairway to Heaven. That's that long. Because <laughs> like, it, it's that long of a song. It's like ten minutes plus. there's always it's, like, it's always those long songs you're like yeah, yeah. that's like seven minutes like you're, you go, you're like american with, pie for me is yeah. pyramids by frank ocean like my mom would always say like in the 80s you would get stuck with the kid you didn't want to dance with when stairway to heaven came on because it was like <laughs> the longest song and you didn't want to dance with that's them. amazing like, oh, I think of it like stairway to heaven like oh dude i got stuck there for two free birds <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> i think for uh what's this third round yeah, I'm gonna have to go with pirate paces. <laughs> Damn it! I had to... so so four paces due east. Oh, so you're taking paces? <laughs> oh, yeah, pa okay, okay, paces. okay, okay. Oh, that's a good. All one. right, so uh, similar. I have feet 
but not like the f- the. I don't think you can take that. No, because that's like, what it is. What do you mean? It, so, a pace have you ever ha, has yeah. your dad ever been like, oh, these cornhole boards got to be twenty feet apart, and then they just do the foot over yeah, foot thing, <laughs> assuming that their foot is exactly. Ah, shit. Oh, it is close. Okay. To paces. That's, okay. Can you do steps? No, no, no. Paces? I'm good. I'm good. Oh, it's close. All right. Yeah. I'll take video games. Anytime oh, I see something yeah. in an increment of sixty. So like something's two hundred forty dollars. I'm like ah, four video games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fuck. That's, that's funny. A good, that's smart. that's a good one. Yeah, I could yeah. be playing four different video <laughs> games instead of buying this. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ! How do I follow that one? Like, <laughs> fuck. All right. Uh, all right. Well, for uh, for everyone listening, uh, you might, so. might as well cry now. We're gonna do uh, like subs. Like bread like subs, a hoagie? not not a foot long sub. I want to make that very clear. Not because like they're not quite a foot. Yeah, but they're, they're around there. They're there, like maybe eleven inches, because you know Subway, I guess, fucks their franchise owners, whatever. But that's a topic for another day. But yeah, <laughs> subs. I'm going with subs. Subway's corporate greed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kyle, hit me good. A laps. A w- oh. laps like a. That's a good track. one. Laps. L A. A lap can be very. Uh, yeah, it could be a different. It can vary. Yeah, it's just like a, a lap around the a mall. Lap around a lap the around the neighborhood. The track, a lap yeah. around the block. A lap around the block. Even like a lap around the neighborhood. Even if you're doing pool. it on a track, it's like well, a lap around the well, house. Hey, how many laps around this track is a mile? Yep. They vary. Laps. <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> no, they do. <laughs> Depends no, they what don't. track. Our track at, at uh, Plymouth. Metric. No, because different tracks have different lengths. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some are like seven, some are four. Depends what kind of four track you're what? on. Four or what? Or if you're on a pool, you're like, oh, I'm doing a lap. I got to do Seven like f- or four what? Laps. <laughs> <laughs> For Kyle. <laughs> How, what is the distance around a track? <laughs> you're at a baseball field. Hey, run two laps. Bam. No, <laughs> we're not talking about that. We're I talking no, about tracks at this point. No, you but said Ky- that no, they're Kyle's all different. About, they are. No, they're not. <laughs> they, they can be. Thought, Indoor listen, versus outdoor. One side always has a 100 meter dash which yeah. is equal on the other side they're incorrect. all the fucking same incorrect indoor tracks have a 100 meter dash that has a little bit of a turn because they're short they're smaller a little bit of a turn hey uh what's the difference between a track that's standardized and an indoor track okay. how long is Since a nascar I, track huh <laughs> how long is a nascar track that's not that it's probably a mile but i'm just we're talking assumptions. about a track <laughs> track unless you're at what's the uh gl- what, Glenn's what, something Glenn. What? Indy five hundred. Five hundred what? All right, Hunter, you're up. Final two thousand left turns. <laughs> is this the final pick? <laughs> yeah, I just yeah, gave my. Wait, what? Yeah, this is this is the final. Pick. Okay, this is your final yeah. pick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, is this the final or third yeah, round? This no, is, this, no is this is the, the last final. one. I this was the final. I have. Last okay, was my third one. Yeah. Okay. Around the lake. Oh. <laughs> we'll go with okay. around the lake. Okay. Very subjective, too. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of, how big is the lake? I don't, you ever take a wrong turn on a lake and they reroute you and it's like 85 minutes to the next, like, you have to go all the way, all the way you don't realize how big the lake is. And even that's like, you have to take a bunch of side roads. <laughs> that's a good one. Um, can I... <laughs> I don't know what you two have in mind. We can come back to me if this is too broad. I'm just going to take limbs. So, okay. Specific limb? Like going out on a limb? I almost thought of that, but I have a different one. No, so like one. for different... Oh, no, okay. Kyle already said that because he said no. him. That is encompassing all limbs. Okay, so all right. I'll take a specific limb. You said you used you as a unit of <laughs> measurement. Oh, oh, I thought... All right, okay. I'll take... I thought he meant a specific limb. I'll take fully like stretched penis, out thumb like, to index finger. That's Every good, time that's I look at that, I'm like... Part, that's still that's part of no, you. That, no, I don't know. No, that's I'll, different. Well, no, so we can yeah, specify because there's a bunch... I'll go into it after. Wait, the different yeah. limb measurements I did. Yeah, you got you dick this? measurements. I mean, that's one. Yeah, well, no, so that's my dick. I know my dick is my, my index finger to my thumb fully stretched. Whoa, I didn't know it was eight, 18 inches, bro? Shit. I got huge hands. No, I know it's about six inches, so every time there's something that's six Six inches. I'm just like, just yeah. That like out, I know yeah. these are about five and a half. I know iPhone is five and a half. Don't ask phone. me how oh, I know. Measuring that. an iPhone. My, so, so, I was gonna say phone is my honorable. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. See, that my you full still have another is, pick. See that? That was my. I see that. Oh, I'm, I'm looking at your iPhone. I'm also see. looking at your massive 18 inch cock too. <laughs> your mastodon sized cock. All right, Colford. Final Again, pick. How do I follow up an 18 inch cock? Uh, we go with Jimmy Fallon's late night interview. <laughs> That's gonna take a while. <laughs> I'm not going into more detail. I'm just leaving it at that. That's fun. 
All right. Um, I have set, that gives me an idea for a, a oh, YouTube mention. shit. What? Nothing. All right, uh, Kyle, <laughs> wrap it up, baby. Uh, idiots. How many idiots does it take to like do in a life? <laughs> Holy <laughs> like, shit! Things like that. Like, so shit. I did I just not even think about idiots. that. <laughs> I just thought of oh that. Like, my I just, god! I mentioned things in idiots. Okay. So good. Uh, honorable mentions. YouTube videos. <laughs> yes, that's a good one. The iPhone was my like, yeah. phone. Like a priest's homily <laughs> during church. <laughs> Him. Yeah, <laughs> homily is that a word? A ho- so a homily is, I don't. Uh, I think John Mulaney made this joke. He pretty much so at church they do the they read the scripture and then afterwards the priest gives a book report <laughs> and explains the scripture. And it can be five minutes, or if you have a chatty priest, it can be like an hour. I've been, I, I've been there. And it's he just talks about what he just read to all of you. <laughs> That's incredible. Yes. Yeah. So a priest homily. Um, for limbs, I'm a fan of the wingspan. Have you ever had someone like, they're like moving a desk or something and they're like, Hey, do you think this will fit over here? I just walk up, go full wingspan. And then I put my arms down and then I act like for some reason I won't move my arms at all. Pick them up, move it and then put it down somewhere else. You're like, yeah, that works. <laughs> yeah. And then it doesn't, it doesn't fit, fit at all. Yeah. But that's a good one. <laughs> a grill in time. Yeah. That's all I got. Yeah, that's... Um, I feel like all the fingers. So like, if there's something that's an inch, I'll be. Oh. I'll do like one of these, or like if it's a couple inches, I'll do like okay, it goes fingertip to third wrinkle on my finger. <laughs> How many bags of popcorn? What? How many bags of popcorn would you have to cook for something to elapse in that? Time? Oh, microwave time. That's microwave time. Microwave Ooh. time. Ooh. Yeah. Like that's is it it's just two minutes. It's how many different two minutes? <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Shit. I'm sad about that. Yeah. I... <laughs> That's a fucking... Podcast time. Yeah, this for us, like two hours. Yeah. 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 I yeah. thought, is this a plunge or is this a hood diner? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I listen, yeah. to this, I listen to this one podcast. It's called Mixtape, and often they just drop a random four hour episode. And I'm like, yeah, I like this. It's awesome. So I'm going to yeah. listen to it. Keep it up, man. Yeah, it was like, this gets me through half yeah. my work day. People be like, oh, you listen to a four-hour podcast? Like, I, yep. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> How else you gonna get? Like, I already good? like the people. Why would you? <laughs> How many uh, poop breaks? Ooh, poop breaks is a good one. Fuck. That's a standard measurement for about twenty minutes, yeah, but it can 20 vary. To Twenty-five. Yeah, it can. Thirty vary. on a bad day. Dude, we missed the good ones. Anyone want to replace some? Dude, I'll uh, take my whole fucking will, team. My team is trash. Let me replace, <laughs> uh, give uh, good ones. My first one, four skins with poop time. I will give you that. Okay. Can Dave have microwave yeah, time? Dave can absolutely Dave have microwave. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Dave, boys. what do you want to replace him? Thank you. Ah, uh, Jesus wait, Christ. Wait. Look at your list again. Uh, <laughs> Picks has moved on to waiver wire. At this point. <laughs> dude, last play. Uh, okay. That's another one, though. Waiver wire. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. We will NFL get... stints. Oh. That's like two to three years. That could be. Well, what position? Yeah. Running back, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, running okay. back. Robert Griffin. Damn, how long did you uh, work at that job? Like three NFL stints. <laughs> <laughs> you can give her to subs. Just <laughs> fucking <laughs> subs. I'm just hungry. Can you? Ah, uh, not gonna do it. No, no do you it. know what? I'm gonna do it. Do it, man. Will you put your penis in a hot dog bun and I'll eat the bun and then suck your cock? That's five dollars. I know it is. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about not doing it, but you're damn right I will, buddy. I'll pay up with you. Let's That's go. Two fifty to eat. Let's go, man. <laughs> We're in this together at this point. All right, I'm gonna take my medal off now. Put that in the bin bin. Oh, finally. <laughs> What's that worth? <laughs> it's another dinner. unit. <laughs> it's equivalent to four bin bin bucks. <laughs> is that the going Riley currency on the plunge? Is bin bin bucks? All right. Also, it's another quarter because you said it's like. <laughs> Just throwing that one out there. This has been a money heavy episode. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna owe like. Can we just round you up to two dollars? Because I know that there are ones that we didn't catch. Should we just let the listeners count them? No, oh my like God. I, no one's so gonna check funny. back. I know Joby, like Joby from any pod, will count each one and send me like, "Hey, dude, you owe like sixteen <laughs> fifty. <laughs> That's great. I just did another one in that. Right, we're, re- we're relying on him. Now. Okay. All right. I like that we set traps for ourselves and then we go. Eh. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Into the trap. And then, like we said, Riley standing jump past the line that he found with me. We're looking at it. We're like, mm, do we want to do it? I don't want to pay money. You know what? Fuck, Fuck it. Then we pay twice as much. I do owe the bin bin $65. Oh, my. <laughs> for Why? what? Gambling? Half. You're an animal. Well. You're gambling. So, no, so. Charity money. I was leaving for the 5K. I had to leave. Uh. 4.35 in the morning, 
the, I there's nowhere to get cash, and I knew I needed cash for parking, so I came and grabbed twenty five bucks. All right, you know I'll let that one slide. Disgusting. I'll let that one slide. And then the other forties from gambling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I won't let slide. That one. <laughs> I've won you every just time. Stole I've, money from autistic kids. You piece I've, of shit. I've won you back the money every time shit. I've ever borrowed. Not this time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's all gone. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, this has been another edition of the Plunge Podcast. You can find us on all streaming platforms. You can find us on social media. Like. At, on Twitter, at Plunge Podcast. On Instagram, at The Plunge Podcast. That is T H E Plunge Podcast. Shout out to the Inner Circle. You know where to find all those guys. You can listen to such shows, those fire shows. You can find them on innercirclepn.com, such as the HT Nas Show, hashtag no offense. That Any show. Will do. That show. Have you guys heard? Two titties, two rings. His put in his, his notice. So He put in his two titties. I mean, t- <laughs> <laughs> uh, So that uh. show will carry on with the, the meat of the show anyway with Chris and Melissa, the Duchess. But they just celebrated their two-year <laughs> anniversary. With Whatski Squared. Yeah, Whatski 2. Um, <laughs> they're actually going to bring their son in now. <laughs> get Whatski 3. <laughs> we got Logan cute. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but they just put out their two year anniversary episodes. Congrats, guys! That's that's fucking big. Pretty we good. Love you. Yep. I would have called in, but I was fucked. I told Chris <laughs> I was like, "Hey, did Hunter ever call in?" He said he was really high, so it would be funny. But also, I assume he forgot because he's really. High. <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, no, dog, you didn't call in." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, checks out." Uh, <laughs> Gotta stay on brand. <laughs> shit happens when you party naked. Jason's on baby watch. That shit could be coming any day now. So. Shout out to you guys. Everyone's just got the shit they going should, on right now. They should name their uh, daughter me. Her name's Evelyn, but that's okay. Uh, Any Pod with Evelyn Lucy Hunter. and Joe B. Sam PC with Adam and Bobby. And The Hood Diner, El Hood the Natal, with the homie casual in DJ Century. <laughs> that's not correct, I know, but it's funny. So pretty it's okay. good. It's because that show's cash. Porcello. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll- We will see you all next week. Apologies for the two-hour episode, even though we thought this was going to be an hour episode. (laughs) O's up. (laughs) O's up, baby. All right. Peace. It's a lot of deodorant. It's 100 degrees. Why you feeling down? What's the problem? We just sit and be free. It don't feel like the something. Bump into the radio with the so cold as the moonlight glows. No, we don't give a fuck. We ain't got to change a thing. We gon' do it cause we want to Days pass by and now we playing by our own rules Chase Tennessee with a kiss and there's some great view Dancing in the parking lot, jamming to some old school We the kings of the city All the lights look pretty We bad boys like daddy We in the club like Fetty Ay, keep my feet up on the desk Gee golly, we just having a blast The future's so bright, we ain't looking at the past And we're just all in the moment, cause it's on a day.